Yo, what is up, Bob Peeps? What's good, Fuego fam? How's everybody doing tonight? Hi. Who do we got in here? Who do we have in here? Let's see. Let's say hello to the peeps. We got Brad in the house. He was number one. He was first. Then we got Lane coming back for round two. He won last time. Yeah. Was good, he Lane. Be getting his card soon. Yeah. We got Cristiano in the house as well. What's good, Cristiano? How's everything, brother? We got Captain and Bees. What's up, guys? How's your night going, guys? What is up? Bees also won last week. We sent his card. Uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, Saturday because uh, he's international. Yeah, he's international, so it requires us to actually go to the post office. We got Sarah up in here. What's good, Sarah and Andy? How are you guys doing tonight? We got Mark Skeeter coming back for round two. So who's excited that the Bucks won? Or do you uh, guys think that it's rigged? Do you guys think it's a conspiracy? Let us know. I, I... So sorry to any Bucks fans, but I don't know. I feel like since the Super Bowl is in Tampa, this is Tom Brady's first year. I think it's kind of rigged. Do you guys believe that that's a conspiracy? I don't know. It's just my opinion. We also got we got Beanos up in the house. Who's good, Beanos? Uh, we got Josh coming back as well. What's good, Josh? He won last week as well. What's good? Lane is a Bucks fan. Oof, oof, he's a Bucks yikes, fan. So he has something yikes. to say on that. He has something to say on that. <laughs> Uh, is it game night or just a regular game? This is game night, guys. It is game night. I'm currently updating the bot. Actually, I am uh, going to update the bot right now. And I thought you want to talk about the prizes that we have tonight. Yeah, so the prizes are as follows. We have a Japanese Lucario. Lucario. Lugia. Lucario. <laughs> Japanese Lucario. No, Lucario is like the other it, one. He's a that, wolf. Yeah, it's a wolf. Thing. Okay, yeah. so Lugia. Japanese yeah, Lugia. Yeah, Japanese Lugia. We have a Raichu GX. And we have a Togekiss V. So those are the prizes for tonight, guys. Yeah, that Raichu is from a promo for... What is it? Not Shining Fates, Shining Star. Or, no, it's not called Shining Stars. You guys know what the set is called? The holiday set before Hidden Fates. Shining something. Only has the Shining Mew. That oh, we Shining, Shining Legends. Mew. Shining Legends. Wow, she, wow, I she know knows that? more than I do. That's crazy. What? How did I get that? What are the odds? So Lane says it can be rigged, but he, uh, he, he doesn't, doesn't care. care. That's how I feel too, bro. It's okay. A win is a win. A win is a win until proven know, that man. it's not a win. I, well, you know, I mean, Brady was kind of like told something about like the year that they did go to the Super Bowl about the ball being deflated no right? it's okay it was just one game it was just one game you get to cheat on one game or two oh, it doesn't okay, matter okay Shining Legends was an awesome set yeah we love the Shining Legends because we got to um, use those co or the code cards for the PTCGO and it pretty much sets up your entire deck so you get all the trainer cards the energies that you need so that's why, right? We're talking about the same thing. Shiny you know? Legends. Isn't that the one that we, which is the one that we got that that has the, oh my god. <laughs> she <laughs> just completely ruined her entire credibility from saying this. Really? Shiny Legends where we packed the Shining Mew in the pack battle against. Um, oh, that's against okay. Vicious Rockstars. Yeah. Yikes! Yeah. I just embarrassed myself. You were talking myself. about the battle decks How that we got. Oh, the battle decks! I was thinking. Bro, there are too many names, man. Oh, wow, I just completely wow. embarrassed myself in front of 12 people. Ooh, wow. At least it was only 12. Uh, <laughs> Captain Muddy Game says that Full Grid Gaming is 55 minutes away from him. Really? Wow, that's insane, Captain. Does that mean that you're uh, you're allowed to... Um, just drive it over there. Yeah, to just drive it over there instead of shipping it? Because that's, that's kind of insane, dude. Very that's pretty economical. cool. Dude, what if you meet uh, Tricky Jim, Andrew Mahone? He's a, he's a good dude. He looks like a good dude. He's a really good YouTuber. Usually I don't play for a card, but Lugia is my is your favorite. Okay, okay, so you got the Japanese Lugia, dude. Who likes Lugia? Uh, uh is it Binos? Yeah, Binos, Binos. Oh, I was I an see. original card teacher trainer when TCU first came out. Really? For real, Titan Sky? You that's super awesome. By the way, welcome to the stream, Titan Sky. What's up? What's welcome. up? Welcome. He's the Pokemon guy, and I'm just here. Uh, so if you haven't noticed. I don't know much. Wait, let me catch up with the chat a little bit. Hope finally wins for once. You can definitely do it, Cristiano. I believe in you, bro. What is Cristiano saying? Hopefully that he hope wins for once. Yeah, hopefully he wins. Yeah, Mandy's yo. in the house, too. What's good, Mandy? What's good, Mandy? How's your night going, Mandy? Josh is in the house. Joshua Marker was good. What's good, Joshua? That's um Rebel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Ultra Rebel. Hey, that's awesome, dude. I'm glad, Titan Sky. Heck yeah. We're, we're chilling tonight. We're hanging out. Uh, just a recap on the prices. By the way, if you guys ever forget what the prices are, you guys want to know what the prices are, exclamation mark, 
prizes in the chat and it will update it um it will tell you like the bot will tell you what the prices are so we got as price number one we got a japanese lugia from legendary heartbeat then we have a raichu gx promo from uh, shining legends and we have a Togekiss v uh from vivid voltage as well as some spicy code cards also where's the box where's the etb right here and if you guys are new to the channel you guys want to drop a subscribe um go to our latest video in the description you guys will see a link click on that link comment hashtag pokeballers on that specific video and you guys will be entered for a chance to win this etb of evolutions guys as of right now we are 477 478 subs when we hit 500 we're giving this away so only about 20 subscribers left to hit that guys yeah by the way we need more likes we only have eight likes so far only What's eight likes guys on? we have 14 peeps in here and 13 people playing we only eight need likes your help Come on, guys. Who is the first subscriber? Probably us, Brad. We have our We're own probably, personal yeah, account. Yeah, probably us and our own <laughs> personal account, Brad. And our family members. Yeah. Juan, is it true you put the milk in before the cereal? Yes, I put the milk in before the cereal. That's horrendous. Because I don't like my cereal to get soggy, right? It if you will put... get soggy nonetheless floating on no, top. No, it doesn't. It, the top part of it doesn't get soggy. If you put the cereal on the bottom and then the milk after, then your entire cereal gets soggy. And I don't like that. Everybody that drinks their cereal like that or eats their cereal like that is a degenerate. Um, <laughs> Why would you say that? That's so mean. He's kidding, guys, because I eat my cereal that way. <laughs> uh, Carolina's in the house. What's good, Carolina? How's your night going? Nice to see you killing it this Sunday as well. I know. Thank you, he thank you, Carolina. He's a monster, Cristiano. You're awesome. Right? Thank you, Carolina, for stopping by and saying hi. How's your night going, Carolina? Yeah, I agree with Captain. Oh, Cristiano's going for the Lugia, too. Uh, Juan is a weirdo. How am I a weirdo? Yeah, Juan is a mega How weirdo. How am I a weirdo? he's a meanie. How am I a meanie? Because, bro. <laughs> Might want to clear your download bar. Oh, right here. Oh, that was all the uh, thumbnails, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were seeing all of our thumbnails for the week. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. Uh, Juan, I thought oh, we could be friends, but I kind of accept milk before cereal. Dude, how do you guys like your cereal super soggy? That's super weird. No, you're you you're like, you know, just very strange. You're the oh. odd man out. But anyway, let's nah. talk about something else because he seems like a little too strange about it. Garo says that she likes coffee more. I, I have she to agrees. agree with you. She agrees, yeah. I yeah. have um, coffee and that's it until like 4 p.m. What's good? Blobrex Blog is also here. What's up, Blobrex? How you doing? I'm actually not that big of a coffee fan. I like, like, which is kind of strange because I was born in Cuba. My mom loves, like, Cuban coffee and stuff. But I am not that big of a coffee fan. I like iced coffee. Iced coffee is nice. Iced coffee is pretty good. Let me lower this because I feel like the music is a bit too loud. Guys, let me know if you guys can hear the the music. We have, like, background music playing right now. Let me know if you guys can hear if it's too loud. Can we do a battle competition on Sword and Shield? Those are the um, those lives are on Thursdays. Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark on Thursdays, um, I stream by myself because Natasha usually works. Um, well, usually Natasha works on Thursdays. So my Thursday night every streams. Day. Yeah. <laughs> so my live streams on Thursday nights are usually playing Sword and Shield. We used to do a thing where we had tournaments that are like gym battle themed. So pretty much everybody will pick a type and you would create your own VGC um, gym, I guess team of that type and we would all battle it out in like an actual tournament format so yeah if you want to be part of that let us know we can definitely bring those back joshua is a man of taste he says french vanilla coffee all the way faux show yeah dude iced vanilla coffee is the no, best no hot vanilla iced coffee is hot literal like coffee. amazing no hot coffee is the best vanilla i like the mcdonald's uh, mac cafe but i have to say that duncan is amazing Starbucks is too pri uh, too, too expensive, too right? Expensive, too expensive, too highly priced. I am starting to like though the foxtail coffee. Foxtail coffee. We've only had it once though, so we need to like. It's give like it more gourmet of a coffee. It's like very smooth coffee. Has anybody here had foxtail? Hi, Vabra. You What's usually good, Vabra? put in the ice. Yeah, he didn't put the ice today. He didn't put the ice today. Uh oh, he's in a mood. Then. <laughs> yeah, iced coffee is amazing. See, Mandy knows what's up. Mandy knows no. what's up. Mandy knows what's up. I prefer hot coffee over ice Thank coffee. Thank you, Joshua. Nah. Another nah. reason why he's a man of taste. Nah, nah. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, Blabbers will say, what are we talking about? We're talking about our taste in coffee. And if you like to pour your cereal before or after your milk. 
Yeah, but that's like, you know, you, you get Ice Iced to... coffee for summer. Iced coffee every day of the week. No, I, It does yeah. not matter. No, no, no. Hot coffee every day. Hot coffee no. every day. No, 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 yes. no, no. Uh, first quiz is starting in uh, five minutes, uh, Cristiano. Uh, six roughly, minutes. Yeah, six 15. minutes. Yeah, 8.15. I, I was, was hot coffee in the winter. winter. I was coffee in the summer, but I stopped drinking coffee. Captain, why? Yeah, that, that's good, though. That's good. Are you feeling bad? Are you okay? Dry cereal is the best. Okay, bees with the top take. Okay, that is easily Bezo the top this, take. Why did you enable this man? Okay, dry why? cereal is definitely the best. Why like, must you if enable? If I have to have cereal with milk, I put the milk before the cereal. If I have to have, if I cannot get the option of like either cereal with milk or just cereal, I have just cereal. Like she literally sees me like just grabbing a box of cereal, sitting down on the couch, and just munching the cereal by itself. I actually wanted I love to get that. cocoa puffs today at Target. What well, didn't you? I don't know. I you should have. Yeah, I should have. I would wake up with my whole body buzzing, so I dro uh, stopped drinking it. That's Dang. because that was too much caffeine, Captain. Forget cereal, waffle. Dude, I haven't had waffles in a minute. Okay, no. okay, okay. Waffles. Or no, pancakes. No, no, no. Toaster strudels. Has anyone had a toaster strudel? Like the little white, white uh, marshmallow man? Toaster strudels with like the cream cheese. The Pillsbury in the Doughboy? Oh, that one. With the white marshmallow man. Oh, is he mad? <laughs> Sorry. It's better than dough. The Pillsbury Doughboy. That makes sense. <laughs> the marshmallow. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. You know how many, how many cartoons there are to remember? <laughs> Whatever, bro. Toaster oh, strudels are amazing. Nah, I, I like waffles over pancakes. I don't like pancakes. I, I think I think pancakes are nasty. I don't like potato waffles. I've never had potato eat. waffles. Is that an Irish thing? I mean, Irish people do That's, eat a lot of potatoes. They do eat a lot of potatoes. Right? Am I wrong? Am I just stereotyping blob bricks? I'm sorry if I am. But well, I mean, I did read recently about like Ireland and their potato famine. Yeah, like potato. Have, I mean, I think for their potatoes. But I think a country strange did on the pen on potatoes. The potatoes are like literally they make everything. They you can do make, make everything. You, you can make french fries. You, you can, can make, make mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes you can make potatoes. Mashed you, potatoes. Um, the things that they sell you at McDonald's for breakfast. Hash browns. Hash browns. Yeah, like you can make yeah. a lot of stuff out of potatoes, man. Yeah. Potatoes are, are good. Mm -hmm. Pancakes greater than waffles, Carolina? Nah. Nah, waffles are definitely top tier. I like the McDonald's pancakes. Dry cereal and trail mix is the best. Nah, trail mix is... Uh, I don't like it. Cristiano, why? Yeah, Christ yeah trail mix is like M&M's with obstacles. Isn't like, it like salty? It's like salty it's like sweet. pretzels and like almonds and peanuts. I guess and people stuff do like, like that. that combination, the salty and the sweet, it makes you really uh, like well, you really like the sugar. Apparently, it's common to make uh, potato waffles. So Tristan, uh, Titan is saying that he's made um, sweet where potato waffles. Where is Titan from? If we don't. If yeah, we Titan, don't where are you from, Titan? That's actually really cool. Sweet potato waffles. I've actually never heard. That. Well, I haven't heard of potato sweet waffles. Sweet potato either. is amazing. Sweet potato is lit. Yeah, I like yeah. sweet potato. I like sweet potato a lot. In Spain, we actually don't eat sweet potato, which is kind of crazy. We we don't really eat too much of that. I've been trying to drink more tea. I love green tea. See, my thing is, I don't like warm tea either. Like I like iced tea, but warm tea is yeah. I, I, I don't know. It doesn't do it for me. I don't like hot beverages. So, Captain, question: If you don't mind me asking, are you uh, somehow Jewish or some like related to Jewish because you like latkes? What is that? I think it's Jewish. Like a lot, I it think it's predominantly Jewish. Jewish. I think. Okay. Okay. So Titan is from Dallas, Texas. Okay. Okay. So he's not even European. So it, that's crazy. So potato waffles are a thing here too. I've actually never heard of that. But never. Me potato neither. waffles. Like, me neither. I guess we're more in touch with like the Hispanic side and like Hispanic yeah, people don't really like eat waffles. We like the black beans. We like the white rice. Yeah. The pork. Black beans, white rice, and chicken and pork. Yeah, that's like our thing. French toast. French toast are good, but they're a hassle to make. Like, if you want to make them properly, I feel like they take a minute to make. What is the difference of pancakes and waffles, except the shape? Like, I feel like pancakes are a lot more stuffy, and waffles are a lot more, like, fluffy. Mm. No? Huh? Would you say that? Like, what? you were just saying, yeah, because you weren't paying attention. No, I was just paying... <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. It's because <laughs> Captain, he's like, he's not Jewish, but only hail to the Norse gods. It's just that... Oh, he hails to the Norse gods. No, like I, Thor and stuff I like asked that. because I we had some... Um, like a holiday thing at mm -hmm. my school where we had like the different holidays like we had um Hanukkah, Dualdi, Christmas, Hanukkah, yeah. all those things and then in the the Hanukkah one they gave us latkes so I thought oh. that it was Jewish I don't even know what a latka looked like they're, they're it's like they look like hash browns okay I think okay. they like that's pretty cool oh my mom is here couple of you almost missed her message hola ma como estas hola Rosa shape is important I agree that the shape is important yeah, potatoes are good. I agree, Broblix. Potato I can't I can't live without potatoes, dude. I cook potatoes and I like pretty much everything. Potatoes and onions. Who likes onions? 
Who likes onions? We put onions in everything. Onions in everything. Our breath or our breaths are permanently sweet potato sweet. fries oh. with honey. Oh, Mark, you might be onto something, dude. Wait, that, that has been a thing. You've never really? had that. I've before? never had sweet potato fries with honey. Never. I had them with like barbecue sauce. No. I love barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is easily top tier best sauce in the world. Sweet tea is the best tea by far. There we go. My man Josh knows. My man Josh knows. Was good. Let's not kid ourselves. We British have the best tea. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know, man. Asian teas are really nice too. Like boba teas and stuff like that. Like, I'm part Jewish. Okay, so Cristiano, know, Cristiano knows what latka is, I'm guessing. My grandmother's mom is Irish Scottish, so it came with them. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so it does come from a European side from it. Okay, okay. Oh, well, 15. Oh, okay. Let's start it, guys. Wait, we had 15 people and somebody left. While we catch up with the chat, this last 30 seconds, we'll give you 30 seconds to hop back whoever the 15th person was. But they get Mark to unlocked. Mark oh, says, oh, there we go. All right, we're starting it. Mark says he's a boat captain. That's actually really cool, Mark. Wow. Uh, what is your latest traveling story? Like, what is your latest destination? Do boat captains live on the ship? I don't think the they ship? necessarily do. I mean, they could, but I don't think they do. Hmm. Do you live on your ship, Mark? How does Togepi evolve into Togetic? Question number one of the night. So this is uh, my quiz, guys. You know that my quiz is always the best. That's why we have 15 people. People know now to start early. Yeah, because they know that yours is the easiest. Ooh! No. Captain says it's a potato pancake. So that's so that's a latka, a potato pancake? Yeah, they're flat. They're flat. So it's a potato pancake. Yeah, but... yeah. Are they good? I'm going to have to try one. They're okay. I'm going to look. I'm gonna have to have to look. Hey, Mark loves onions too. There we go. Mark is a man of culture. Man, uh, you, Mark, you're a man of culture. So you are Norse pagan, Captain. Have you played Valhalla? Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Onions, see, Barbara, no Barbara knows onions too. Barbara knows onions. And Bino everybody loves onions. Wow, except for Blob Bricks. He only likes them in onion rings. I'm disappointed, Blob Bricks. Have you uh, had caramel? Also, um, Sarah likes onion rings only. Wow, really? Have you guys tried caramelized onions? Caramelized onions are the best. That's like how we usually have them. The small snorkel boat in West Palm Beach. Ooh. What's Dude, what's in West Palm Beach? He, that's where he has his uh, snorkeling boat. Hey, we're nearby. That's by. awesome. That's yeah, pretty cool. that's awesome, dude. Small snorkel boat. We got Very so many cool. peeps from Florida, man. That's kind of crazy. I think that it's probably the algorithm. Yeah, I wonder if YouTube like pushes it out more to like people in your region. Yeah, because maybe you can relate more because there's like a cultural thing and maybe... You yeah, know, that's actually pretty follow. cool. Also, Lane. I don't know if Lane is still in the chat, but Lane is a Tampa Bay fan. So I'm assuming that Lane is from Florida as well, right? Like... Probably. Oh, you know, yeah, but I, I mean, yeah. 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 So, I mean, we, yeah, we did mail the car out to him. Yeah. So, yeah, he's Florida. Nat's quiz sometimes unexpectedly the hardest. Yeah. But tonight, tonight, <laughs> randomly difficult, <laughs> says Barbara. Josh is in Florida, too. What? Dude, everybody's from Florida. What's up? Either Florida or Texas. That's like 99% of like our, <laughs> our subscriber base. Um, Brad is from Florida. Wait, Brad, aren't you from the Carolinas? But also, guys, today I made another ultimate quiz, and this one, like last one, you guys were saying it was a little bit too easy. Um, the this Sailor one, Moon part was easy. This one is gonna be really hard, cause this one it is well-known animes for the most part, but it is pretty hard questions of the well-known animes. So I'll leak it for you guys. I'll leak to you guys what the animes that are involved in this ultimate quiz are gonna be. We have Pokemon, obviously, that can be out. We have. Attack on Titan, because they just took a really big twist. There's some spoilers on that one. So you guys, if you guys don't haven't seen season four of Attack on Titan, beware <laughs> of spoilers. We have Demon Slayer. Yeah, hold on, look what Venus wrote. This is an impossible oh, question. In the anime, how many episodes did Misty's Togepi finally evolve into Toge? What? Yeah, in in the anime, how many episodes? So it went from baby Togepi or Togepi to Togetic in how many episodes? It took 200... Oh, so it took 216 episodes from when it hatched yeah. to when it evolved. Yes. Oh. Okay, that's a very random question. It was in the YouTube video that I saw. So that I was like, might question. as well. And I forgot the last might anime. Might as well. And anyway, look, a lot of people got it. So that's, it's not I, I think people were just. Question, I think people were just guessing. Eric is from Cali. Ooh, from where in Cali? Are you from like North, South, Central Cali? Eric? I also think that we... Uh, we relate to, or we um, are pushed to states that have diversity. Yeah. Like Ohio, yeah. we have Florida, Texas, we have New York, we have Texas Cali. and California. Yeah, yeah. Because we don't have Utah. We don't yeah. have like. Yeah, Kansas. we have like very, very like. Yeah, like, like we have like we states have a. Have a group of yeah, people. like like very high like concentrations of like Different Asians, types. Hispanics, Blacks, everything. Like yep. that's kind of crazy. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, very that's cool. Awesome. Maybe they, they they hear my accent and they're like, 
He's foreign. Push it out. <laughs> no. No, no. We I got Lane on, Lane on top. Let's go, Promise. How are you doing tonight, Promise? She, look, she's like, she's already like, high. I'm prizes. <laughs> Victor says, wow, this was hard. It usually doesn't make it in time for the early quizzes, but I hear they're the best ones. Oh, why does everybody like Natasha's quizzes better than mine, you? What is that? Who said that? Uh, Victor. Oh, <laughs> that's great. You All see? Right. So we got Lane in first place, Mark in second, Blobrex in third, Binos loves Lugia. <laughs> <laughs> Pinos so, in fourth. promise, this is the Lugia, the Japanese Lugia. Yeah. This is the Raichu GX promo card. It's a promo, promo card. card. And then we have the Togekiss. Togekiss V. Let me move the camera up a little. It's kind of bothering me. This is... Alright, there we go. Uh, okay. There we go. Um, Alright, quiz. Question number three. Misty released Togetic to protect the Lucario Kingdom. Well, actually, that's a very random question, too. <laughs> I have no clue. I have like true. several themes in this. Like it kind of goes from one character. Now to you're like transitioning character. to Lucario. What? It's because you transitioned oh, to Lucario. No, well, I guess, but not not necessarily. <laughs> Promise wants the the right you. <laughs> I think I put a uh, two times like D and what? Dad, not Dada. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm Brad so is confused. funny. He's like not my Dada. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't call my dad Dada. <laughs> That's so cute. It's Brad. Like I'm not a kid. It is false. So why does it? Why does it's she? It's the. Um, I forgot the kingdom. It starts with Mystic. Is there a Mystic or or? Uh, yeah, I don't remember. There's some kingdom. It starts with an M. That Misty releases Togetic the same day that he actually from Togepi to Togetic that 269th episode. <laughs> Togetic goes into the kingdom and flies away. And that's where it gains its fairy typing. Yeah, Venus. Oof, Venus really wants that Lugia. Then Blobrex in second, biting it out with Venus. Then we got Fast Lane, uh, Lane up in here, Skeeter, Mark, and Brad moving up to the top five. Mandy's 13th, Captain is 16th. Bro, you guys are fighting it out on the bottom. Let's test this out. How do I play? Okay, so let's test this out. Right here on the bottom, you have this code, right? So all you have to do is go to Kahoot.it or download the Kahoot app on your phone and put in this code. And that's it. You're in. The only thing is, is that we're already on question four. So don't get discouraged if you're like at the bottom for now because they already have accrued three, almost 3,000 points. Yeah, but it's only been like three questions. Yeah, so I mean, we still have, a, I mean, 17. You can 15. still win. If you get every single question right, you can probably win uh, yeah. this first quiz. Uh, let's test this out. Also, happy birthday to Promise's dad. Happy birthday to your dad, Promise. That's freaking awesome. You have a Japanese choco, so now you can pair it up with a Japanese Lugia. And happy birthday to Promise's dad. Um, Brad, so the first uh, series of Pokemon... It goes from Kanto to Johto. Like, Brock and Misty both travel with Ash into Johto. Hacks. <laughs> Barbara said that she gets a Togepi from Hacks before the other, the other series gets released. <laughs> <laughs> so what is not one of Psyduck's abilities? What do you think? It's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, maybe Misty's. Or maybe that one. No, that, that's not how abilities work, Natasha. Yeah, no, hold on. <laughs> that's, that's not how abilities work, Natasha. No, because it was one of them that <laughs> Misty side that couldn't do. Yeah, but that's, that doesn't mean it's an ability, Natasha. This is an actual ability. Yeah, I'd probably put, put that one, though. Oh, Hola, Juan, my como... gosh. No. I'm gonna... Okay, no, no, I got it right. I got it right. I got it oh. right. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say? It's right here. Damn Cloud Nine and Swift Swim. Okay, no, 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 I got it right. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So at first, I thought that I had put the question like, "What uh, can't uh, Misty Psyduck do?" And Misty Psyduck can't, can't swim. swim. Yeah, can't swim. Yeah, but it, its ability is Swift Swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, okay. you're right. You're right. Okay. You're right. Just making sure. Uh, yo, Jackson, what's good, bro? Uh, any Bucks fans in the chat? Oof, there's a couple of Bucks fans in the chat, Jay. Yeah. Couple of Bucks fans we in the chat. We have to send his, uh, his, his shirt shirts. Yeah. yeah, we'll have his to send that out. Came in, him and his sister's shirt. No, oh, my dad's here too. Hola, pa, ¿cómo estás? Yo a todo. Uh, it was on the, uh, on the 18 and I didn't get anything for his birthday, but he loves to play Pokemon with me. So, who wants code cards? You could, did you get him Pokemon cards? You have to get him some Pokemon cards Wait, then, promise. Oh, promise his dad. Oh, oh, okay. How long did it take for Psyduck to learn Water Gun and use it properly? Ooh, I don't know. How long, Brad? That's a good uh, quiz question. <laughs> Promise is asking for Michael. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. Blood breaks. My suffering will never end. Yeah, every time that Binos is doing good, Blood breaks comes in and wins. Poor Binos. <laughs> it looks like his nemesis. 
I'm going to text Michael. Bucks in the Super Bowl. Let's go. And yeah, uh, me and his are excited for the shirts. Yeah, dude, you have to DM us your, your address later. You have to DM us your address later, dude. I got you. Uh, Brad wants codes. Ooh, does that mean Promise is going to send in some codes? Which of these Pokemon has the lowest catch rate? Ooh. Which of these Pokemon has the lowest catch rate? I, I don't remember. I think it's I put this one. It might be that one. Yeah, I put that maybe one. Maybe not catch rate, but maybe appearance rate. No. Is catch, it catch rate? Are you catch. sure? Catch. I got it from the Bulbapedia, Juan. Do not question me and my Pokemon intelligence. Uh, anyway, uh, guys, if you guys are new to the stream, tonight we have something special that we started doing last week, which is called an ultimate quiz. And the ultimate quiz is not only going to be Pokemon related stuff. Is gonna be related to various animes. The animes in question tonight are Pokemon, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, and My Hero Academia. Those are the four animes for tonight. There's gonna be five questions per anime, and it is probably the hardest quiz I've ever made. Because you guys were complaining that last week's quiz was not hard enough. You guys were thinking it was easy, everybody was getting questions right. So in in this quiz, you guys better you know step your game up because I definitely did. Blobrex is numero uno with fast lane at two, speed or three, Josh. Oh, Bino's, Bino's. Bino's got nervous. Bino's got nervous. He didn't get it. Oh, Barbara's saying it wasn't easy. Dude, people were getting like 15, 16 questions right. Okay. Jackson says, do <laughs> not question my intelligence. Barbara ended up winning that one, though. Don't no question. You see? You see? Mm-hmm. Pick some quality anime, too. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I mean, Jackson, you weren't here last week, but last week we did uh, Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! One Piece, which is like his favorite anime. Oh, so really? he missed One Piece. Uh, Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! One Piece and Sailor Moon. Yeah, Sailor Moon is my favorite, but I don't see him as a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan. Jackson? No, 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 he's a One Piece fan. I know, but yeah. like, I mean, he can be a fan of other animes. I, I mean, I mean, the questions I asked in Yu-Gi-Oh! were relatively, relatively hard. So, okay, I, I'll give him that, but he would have gotten the, the well, One Piece ones for sure. Well, got this one right. So yeah, James's first Pokemon was Growlithe. Wow. Yeah. Really? Did you know that? No, I thought it was Ar um not Arbor, uh, Victory Ball. No. It was oh, when he was like, with his like family, you know, when he was younger. No. Oh. Well, I actually did not know that at all. Guys, do listen to the bot, please. Um, make sure to leave a like on the stream if you guys are enjoying the content. You guys want to see more? Yeah, please. Leave, leave a, a like. like. And if you are new, subscribe. We have Smeargle is a dog? Me. Really? I didn't know Smeargle was a dog. I think I chose a dog Pokemon in that one. Yeah, but I didn't know Smeargle was a dog. Like, when you look at it, it doesn't look like a dog. It doesn't. You're right. It's kind of weird. He's like a painter. So what happened to Growlithe? What happened oh. to James' Growlithe? Like a beagle. It, it, actually, now you say it, Victor. It does look like a beagle. What well, do you do with the code card after you use the code? You throw them away. Promise. Because they're that you can't do anything with them once you have claimed the code. Yeah, you just throw them out. Yeah. Um, that that does make a lot of sense. What? Yeah, Jackson, you did miss the the one piece quiz. That Smeargle is a beagle. Brad, why do you keep asking? Yo, we answered you. We were our first subscribers, we Brad. We were our first, like probably four <laughs> subscribers. Yeah. Who was our first, like first first subscriber, like real subscriber? That was like non family, non like school friend related. I don't know. Honestly, I, th th I think the earliest memory of a subscriber that I have that at least has like stayed with us for this long is probably like Frankie. Yeah, Frankie. That, that's what I can think of, like, I mean, but there's a lot of people that have been here with us since the beginning, like, Frankie, yeah, Frankie Captain, Sarah, one of our shirts. I was so real happy. Pokemon Joe. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah real Pokemon Joe. Real Pokemon well, he Joe. was the one who won our, our first giveaway, yeah, yeah, so real Pokemon yeah. Joe is one of our first, too. Yeah, so, but yeah, like, our first, like, big, big subscribe. Can you check? I don't think you can check, Brad. No, Brad, why do you want to know so badly? <laughs> I don't think you can check, Brad. I think he wants to be number one, that's why. <laughs> Promises, but I'm the new best. <laughs> Oof, you're not supposed to say that, Promise. That was supposed to be a secret. No, <laughs> Oof, Josh moving back up to second place. Dude, Mark and Josh are always fighting it out. Yeah. Always fighting it out. They're like the new Blood Breaks and Beanos. By the way, guys, if you are interested in our new merch, please let us know. Yeah, let us know, guys. If you guys want to get some Pokeballer merch, well, usually, for right now, just shirts. Uh, long sleeve shirts with either Pokeballer logo Either a normal Pokeball or the one with the basket. Yeah. We are working on the Miami Heatrons ones to get them out soon. Yeah, Josh but Horton and Cassie have one now. Not the Miami Heatrons one, though. Oh, just, no, not the Miami Heatrons. Just a normal logo the, one. Yeah, the Pokeballer yeah. logo. Um, do you want to go get them? Huh? Do you want to go get them? Like, we have a couple here that we have to, like, mail out to people. Oh, so yeah. So, you can show them. I'll show them. Okay, I'll uh, 
So if you guys do want some of that, let us know. And the more shirts we order at once, the cheaper the prices will be. So I think if we can order maybe like 20 shirts or 15 shirts, we can probably get the price down to like, I don't know, like $25 a person. So, and that includes shipping as well. That will include shipping as well. So, let us know. One Piece Squad. Oh, yeah. Jackson and Captain are both One Piece boys. I'm only on episode 200. I'm on exactly episode 200 on One Piece right now. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So, this is what the Pokeballers with the ball logo looks like on the chest. Right here. And then this is what the one with the basketball looks like. Those are the two that we have right now. You guys can get them in black or white. And we are working on the Miami Heat Trans one for the VGC squad, the draft league. So let us know if you guys are interested in that. We can definitely do a count of how many orders we would have and make an order for them. I'm saying I think you're a loyal fan of the Pokeballers. It's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, you'll have to say no offense, Brad. We went for this on Thursday. Brad is so cute. Every time he says something that is like kind of like going against somebody, he says, no offense. He's like, no offense, but I think it's supposed to be this. He's like, it's okay, Brad. You're fine. <laughs> so Jesse and James graduated from Pokemon Tech. What do you think? It's kind of obvious, right? Yeah, pretty obvious. Yeah, pretty uh, obvious. I thought they met in the Rocket Headquarters. Ah, fact check. Somebody fact check Natasha. No, they, <laughs> they did meet at the... <laughs> I'm playing with you, baby. <laughs> Why would you... <laughs> Don't be like that, bro. She gets so scared. She's like, oh my gosh, no, no, yeah, don't tell me I got it wrong. They're going to get mad if I have a wrong question here. They're all fighting for the car. In the real version, James met Jesse working in a diner from what I've heard. Really? In the it, real what, version. What does that mean? Like like in the, uh, in the manga? Oh, yeah, probably in the manga, not in the anime. No, I, I have no clue. Honestly, would not know. My memory does not that, does oh, not go that far back. Mom says that the Alkazam V-Box didn't really have much of anything. Yeah, yeah. Th that's why I don't think we're, we might end up getting it. Like, we've been calling a couple of places to see if they have it. But honestly, at this point, I think we're better off just waiting for Shining Fates to come out. Yeah, Shining guess. Fates is, like, the big thing right now. Anyway, Josh moving up to first. Ooh, Blobrex is slacking, bro. We're still Blobrex. And then Skeeter in second place. Mark, and we got Lane coming in. He's catching up to Blobrex, too. Where's Beanos? Beanos, what happened to you, bro? What happened to Beanos? Double points. Which of these Pokemon has the highest catch rate? Hmm. Which one do you think? I... It's probably this one. Really? Yeah. No. Is it this one or this one? I kid. It's, it's this one, right? Yeah, it's yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> oof, oof, Mark is getting hyped. He knows, he knows. You didn't miss anything, Brad. You didn't miss anything. You're good. Juan, well, I've been looking for this like crazy. They're, uh, they're impossible to find. Been through like 10 targets on Walmart over the last week. Of what? What is he trying to find? For tins. Uh, like, are you looking for like hidden fates tins? Yeah, you, you'll never you're not, find you're not gonna that. find those. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna find hidden yeah, fates tins. You'll never find like, that, Jack. unless you know your vendor and you know when the vendor is hitting and when he has or when uh, they have um, hidden fates, you're never finding hidden fates at a store. Yeah. Ever. I mean, the thing about it is that people know when the vendor is. Yeah, because people like, know the they vendor. They line up. They line yeah. up at the store. Yeah, the people have like the vent. Like, there's people that know the route that the vendor takes and they just follow the vendor's truck. To get those. That's so, insane. any course, whatever. No tins or anything. Um, check Barnes & Noble. Jackson. Yes, the, the box that we opened today. Oh, the yeah, ETB that we opened Friday. today. We got it at Barnes & Noble because I showed up to my local Target. Um, and the guy, there was a guy there looking for Pokemon cards too. He's like, oh, dude, I just left Barnes & Noble and they have like 30 ETBs of Vivid Voltage. And, we, and I got there. There were like 15, 20 left. So, if you want to get some Vivid Voltage, try to pick a Rainbow or a Pikachu. Check out Barnes & Noble and maybe GameStops. Mark is like, how do you confuse a penguin and a dog? <laughs> Who confused? <laughs> I confused Lily Pop with people of Brad. <laughs> Poor Brad. Poor Brad. I love Brad, man. <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. Brad is adorable. I was able to pick up a trainer toolkit. Bro, we went to Target today and they had like 20. Yeah, the, yeah our Target had 20 t trainer toolkits. We did that a year ago. Yeah, literally when we first started. Yeah, now is when they have them. Like, yeah, is that I don't how get everything it. else is going to be? We have to wait a whole year to finally get it? That's crazy. 
Yeah, uh, man. Jackson says, seen videos of employees buying out places too. Sad, but gonna check out Barnes for sure. Wow, Dude, employees so, too? Th- so you remember the one time that we were able to find Hidden Fates at Target? We had to ask an employee that he probably had like a secret stash in the back of Hidden Fates. Oh, and he ended up getting us. Because normally when you go to Target and you're like, oh, like, uh, do you guys like, have anything in the back? They're like, oh, no, the vendor comes in and lays everything out. But we asked some dude that was like literally stocking up the the card section on the other end, like the sports cards. And he's like, oh, Hidden Fates? Okay, okay, I'm going to have some in the back. And like, he goes to the back and he's like, okay, I have, I have like six of them. Uh, which ones do you want? And we ended up taking three. We should have taken all of them. Yeah, we should have. But I think that was like his private stash that he wanted to keep. And he just like felt Probably bad. Probably because, man, no other Target employee never, has ever never. been so in, helpful. Literally in six months, that is the one time we he were able to probably knows that. the struggle and he's like... You know, these people look a little desperate. Let me yeah. give them a few of mine. Yeah. You know. Uh, Brad, the lily pup looks like a, like a Yorkie. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a Yorkie. It's like our dog. We have a Yorkie. The cutest dog in the whole wide world. Yes. Brad is saying, if you don't get 500 subs in two months, we will. You guys will what? <laughs> you guys will what? Juan and I, you guys uh, have my first reverse holo. Uh, GXV DC cards. Oh, we gave her. Oh, that's awesome. Gave who? Gave Promise her first like actual like collection, like hey. her first reverse holo GX and V cards. Very Heck cool. Heck yeah, Promise. That's what we're here for to help everybody start their own Pokemon addiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say that one. <laughs> so in the anime, what was Meowth's first word? What do you think it is? Uh, yeah, that. I was gonna say that. Too. Yeah, yeah, rocket. I think that's this is crazy. a fairly easy. Yeah, it's quite, relatively uh, easy. Quiz. I, I don't feel like it's easy. Uh, but I feel like it's a quiz that you can you deduce the answers. Yeah, yeah, like you can. You, like if you think about it enough, you can you can um, find the answers out. And then Blobrex misclicked. <laughs> ah, yeah, Blobrex. And yeah, it's just been a, like a very slow month for us. What we need to do is like since we opened up TikTok, it's been growing though. Like yeah. that, that's kind of like what gave us the push because in a month and yeah. a half we have gotten like three subscribers, and now since we opened up TikTok, we've gained like thirty something. Like, we can't be lazy with TikTok. We yeah, have to we we, with we didn't post it and we're supposed to, so we need to start it's just posting. It's been up. tough because now we started school again. Yeah, no, with work and school, and now doing the battles and stuff like that too, like the VC battles, like it takes yeah. a toll. Yep. In the anime, why did Giovanni assign Meowth to Jesse and James? Yeah, why? What do you think? Um, this one. Nope. Then it's this one. Nope. Well, then maybe that yeah. one. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that one's a little bit more <laughs> counterintuitive. Uh, but if you don't get 500 subs in a month, uh, Brad uh, says Brad. Uh, then we will open this up. No, we will not. We will open this up. No, we will not. He's just threatening. No, oh. no, we will open this up. No, we will yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, because it's been too long, guys. It's about time. Weird. It, it wasn't a cat. It wasn't a cat's name. What wasn't a cat's name? I'm confusion. Wow, only one person got it right. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, apparently Meowth spilled Giovanni's coffee, and then he's like, shoot. And then, bye. Wow. I don't need you anymore. Yeah. Ooh, nobody in the top five got it right. Yikes. Ooh, Sarah and Andy moving up to the top. Uh, Juan, I got a side dog, Wulu, Burskuda, Shaming Reverse Hollow, and a Sharpedo, Galarian of Sagoon Hollow. And obviously, a Lakazam B card from the Lakazam V box. Okay, okay, so I mean, it wasn't too bad. Like, nothing super crazy. Nothing super crazy. But yeah, like, I think the the, pa- the pull rates on, on the packs inside the Lakazam uh, B boxes are not that good. Like, you get, what, 2 vivid Voltage, uh, Sword and Shield, and uh, Burning Shadows. And Burning Shadows doesn't really have too many, like, too good pull rates. Vivid Voltage is okay uh, in pull rates. And Sword and Shield is okay in pull rates. I don't so, like Champion's Path, though. Yo, Champion's Path is horrible. Champion's Path is horrible. Champion's Path is, like, up there with um, Burning Shadows and, like, horrendous pull rates. Awful. Burning Shadows or... Are you Burning Shadows and Rebel Clash. But, Rebel, the, but Burning Shadows has actual cards that you want. Same with Champions Path. Like, they both have Charizards. Yeah. But they're just impossible to, to get. Like, the pull ratios are horrible. Us. No, no, no. For everybody. Like, they're super bad. Yeah. So, who did Ash lose to in Johto? Who do you think? The, this one's not Johto. This one. Yeah. That's what everybody lost to in Johto. Literally, everybody lost to her in Johto. Yeah, in playing the video games, everybody lost to her in Johto. Um, don't remember exactly, but I think it was because Meowth uh, saw a sign for the Rocket Game Corner. No mention the word team. Okay, okay. Yeah, he so didn't that... say team. He said Rocket. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. His first word. Now, Why did he learn how to speak? I don't know. Yeah, me I either. I have no idea. Y'all's TikTok is doing so well, y'all should try doing dance trends. 
Bro, if you ever see me dancing on TikTok, you I'm know I've lost my mind. I'm trying to convince him to wear the Pikachu onesie and dance in that Pikachu so onesie. So you guys, you guys know the wee meme, like the mamata wee <laughs> of like like dogs jumping and stuff we like that. We don't know where he should like try and. Yeah, oh. I was gonna, I was gonna dress up in a Pikachu costume and like fall into the pool or something like yeah, that with you, that meme. But I was trying to tell you that we could do it like several times. No, because that would look weird. But then what? You're gonna fall into a pool and where else? I don't know. What was the name of the episode that Ash turned into a Pikachu? Oh, that's kind of strange. Which one is it? This one. No. Nope. And this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will give another code card at 6 p.m. Uh, PST. So that's at 9 p.m. more time. So in 20 minutes, guys, get your PTCG already. Just promise is giving away code cards. I made my selection. I instantly realized I made the mistake. And at that moment, Captain knew he messed up. <laughs> but Meowth was useless. He still is. <laughs> he still is. I never lost to Whitney, but I was 15 playing gold, so there's that. Okay, okay, no, like, I, my first encounter with Whitney was in Hard Gold Soul Silver, uh, and I was, like, 10. And I didn't realize that if you were faster than that Whitney's mill tank, rollout didn't really do anything. So, I lost to rollout a good amount of times. Rollout. No? Isn't that a song? I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, I insist Misty is the most OP trainer in uh, Nuzlocke. Really? Really? You think Misty? I don't know, man. I mean, for, for Kanto, maybe. Yeah, for Kanto, for Kanto, okay. For Kanto, okay. But if you play... Dude, honestly, tell me if I'm wrong. I think the hardest games to complete a Nuzlocke game are Gen 3 and Gen 4 games. I think Emerald and Platinum are, like, impossible to complete a Nuzlocke on. Especially if it's a randomizer. By the way, guys, have you seen the Jigglypuff that I made for Cassie? Yeah, for Catch em All Cards for Josh yeah, and Cassie. Yeah, Catch em All Cards. I made a little Jigglypuff. It looks a lot better in the video. <laughs> I think it looked cute. It looked great. Uh, Meowth loves stories, so he tried to learn to speak. Oh, really? Really? That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that. I didn't know the backstory. He was setting up a school to teach people proper pronunciation and learn to say, uh, she sells she shows down by the seashore. Really? Seashells. There's actually a song with that. Like somebody she, made a song with that. She sells so she seashells shows by, by the seashore. Sure. Yeah. It's like the Spanish one, the R con R cigarro ferrocarril or something like that. Tres tristes tigres tragan trigo en un trigal. What? Tres tristes tigres tragan trigo en un trigal. Three sad tigers drink or swallow what? Uh, trigo, wheat. Oh, wheat? And a haystack or something like that. Or no, wheat, they swallow or no, wheat? wheat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. It's a weird saying. It's horrible. Asha <laughs> I was like, yeah, you come up with that. That was good. No, that was that's good. what they thought. They, it was like by the people. They named that episode. Really? Hachichu. Yeah, but wow. like it was in the actual anime. It was called Hocus Pokemon. Wow. Yeah. That's but, weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's impossible to know. So like, I'm on like 40. I'm on try like 40. <laughs> Dude, it is hard, man. Gen 3 and Gen 4 are arguably the hardest Pokemon games. I didn't know Jackson what? was going to Pokemon. Jackson? Yeah, yeah he's, he, he, he's always he's always texting the the group chat that we have with like the the college friends. Yeah. And he's like, okay, okay, Juan, what do I need to do here? Like, what should I take as my team for this like uh, section of the of the Nuzlocke? Wait, and you don't give him good advice? He's lost. I give him good advice. No, apparently I, not. He's... Dude, it's still hard. I can't give him the best advice in the world that he can make the best decisions ever, and it's still pretty hard to do. Wow, you're not a very good mentor, Juan. I guess I'm not. <laughs> I guess I am not. And yes, Cristiano <laughs> Promise is going to release another code card at 9, so in 18 minutes. <laughs> Promise asking who's Josh. Josh? Uh, where's Josh? Josh, can you can you comment in here, Josh? Josh he was here. On fire. He was earlier, uh, he was here in the chat He's at least earlier on. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. There we go, Josh. There we go. <laughs> That's a promise. Now you have your answer. Oh, I haven't I always uh, it's always have a I always have a female Chikorita. Always? Really? Why why Chikorita? This subscriber came from just this morning. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got these subscribers from this morning. Yeah. yeah. From, um... I'm guessing from these people, from Josh and Yeah, Cassie's that's video. why I had mentioned the catch them all cards. Because yeah. Because they showed the Jigglypuff that I made them. Yeah. Well, I want to see it, but I don't want to open Instagram anytime soon. Um, I mean, Carolina, then if anything, you can, uh... You can see check what? out the uh, Jigglypuff. You can check out Cassie's or Catch Em All Cards video. Um, if you go to the channel in the latest video, you scroll towards the end, they open up our mail. So you can see it there, um, Carolina. Or oh, Spanish tongue twist. Dude, they're hard. Spanish tongue, uh, tongue twisters are super hard. <laughs> Whoever plays Minecraft on the Switch, can you play with me? Because I just want someone to play Minecraft Aww. with me. I would, Brad, but I do not play Minecraft. 
Um, no, I've never finished a Nuzlocke. Have you ever finished a Nuzlocke? Um, I'm halfway through the <laughs> Sword and Shield one. Oh, but wow. no, I've never finished a Nuzlocke. I, for, for a period of time, Blobbreaks, I was doing Platinum Randomizers here on the channel as my Thursday streams. But it got to the point where we had a pimp slapping Heatran called Arizona. And Arizona carried us up until Batch 4, Batch 5 in Platinum. And it died to two critical hits in the Fighting Type Gym. Which wasn't really Fighting Type Gym because it was a randomizer. Like my Heatran was... Anybody remember what my Heatran was? I think it was Dark Type. And it lost to two critical hits in the quote unquote Fighting Type Gym. But I think it was like a Steel Type Pokemon double critted me. And it killed my Heatran. And then we lost the Nuzlocke from there. Where's Michael? Text Michael and tell I him. I did. He didn't respond? He's probably with his girlfriend right now because yeah. like he was sick with COVID. So, so he couldn't see her too much. Like yeah. two weeks at home doing nothing so i'm sure he's now out and about or working okay so josh is watching and uh playing from his phone so he has to toggle back and forth so josh has to concentrate right now he can come in and hang out in the middle of uh in between quizzes landing ball with a p in the original sketches what symbols was ash hat going to have in the front yeah so the original sketches so what they first were in or how they envisioned yeah, ash, ash and his looking, hat yeah. the hat had a lightning lightning bolt with a p Oh, so it's like a, like a P and then like the stem of the P was a lightning bolt? No, it was a lightning bolt and then the P. Oh. So, okay, <laughs> alright, sure. <laughs> Only one person got that right and it was nobody in the top oh, five. Oh, I think Chikorita looks more uh, female at all. See, I've never liked Chikorita. Like, even as a design, I've never liked Chikorita as a Pokemon. Oh, Carolina's is uh, her favorite Bo is Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Really? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Hopefully you like the way it came out. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks okay. It, w it yeah. honestly it was not my best work, but it was because the the person that I bought the pattern from didn't know how to write the pattern. That so you know I'm at the mercy of how they write the pattern online. So it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it says I always gives me good advice, but I get swung by victory rule, double slacking, and I'll feel bad if I battle them one at a time. <laughs> Dude, the freaking slackings are annoying, bro. Slacking is a really annoying Pokemon. But the best way to get around slacking is to use protect on the first turn and then attack on the second turn. Oh, everyone got this one right. League. The L. Like the attack. Pokemon League. Yeah. Ooh, Blobrex didn't get it right. Blob. All right, three questions left, guys, on quiz number one. Three You're questions flying left. flying by my quiz today. Why? It's already 8.50 or 8.45. Oh, wow, it's actually flying by today. Yeah, like, it's been half an hour on this quiz. It's time. It's my time to exist. Hi, <laughs> Hi Connor. What's, what's good, Connor? How are you doing today? Yo, we got, well, revamped Poké Card Collector, Juggernaut. What's up, Juan and Natasha? Oh, what's that, good, bro? Poké Card? Yeah. Oh. What's good, bro? What's good, Justin? How's your night going, man? How's your night going? Hi. I actually used him as an example uh, with my class. Poker Card Collector? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I need to stop calling you Poker Card Collector, dude. Yeah, so Justin. Juggernaut. Oh, yeah. Justin, right? Yeah, Justin, okay. yeah. So I was telling my kids today because um, we were talking about like the average temperature of Earth and how it was like 59 degrees, and I'm yeah. like asking them, why is it 59? I thought 59 is cold, but we're warm. And, I'll, and then I kind of told them about the seasons and how we are cold, but right now Australia is in summertime. So yeah. then I gave uh, Justin as like an example. Like I have a friend <laughs> over in Australia and he's saying it's super hot. <laughs> it was really cute. Also, Naruto Gaming is coming in. Here was good, Naruto Gaming. Are you ready for the quizzes tonight, bro? Uh, let's see. Mankey stole his hat. Beasley said. I remember watching this anime episode last week where Mankey stole his hat. Oh, dude, I remember. Is that when he catches the Mankey and then he walks into a primate? My knowledge in this uh, is in the in the game. The rest not as good. I feel that. I feel that. I know more about the video games than I know about the anime and the card game for sure. You would go listen to a bunch of cards on the... Listening a bunch of cards on the site. It's so mind-numbing. Ooh, you're going to make that money? You're going to make that money, um, Justin? Oh, I can confirm it's cold all year round. Explain that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I would love that though. I and is it like gray? I love gray skies. I hate the sun. I'm like why? I'm, I just don't You're like straight. the sun. I feel the sun more is productive when the sun you. is out. No, the sun is bad what, for you. Whenever, whenever there's no sun out, I want to sleep all day. Uh, also, Connor. So Connor's from Ireland. So Connor, Connor. Now we have we have an Irish battle right now, Connor, because we have you and we have Blobrex. Both of you guys are Irish. And then we got Oblivion, who's not here tonight, and Beanos, so who are like both Connor, like British. Con but Connor, like Connor McGregor? 
Ooh, we don't even bring that up. Why are you bringing that up to the Irish peeps? <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Anybody watch the UFC fight last that night? That was a little, bit, a little bit painful to watch with Conor McGregor last night. Anybody watch that last night, guys? Or well, I guess early morning. Um, for a lot of you European and Australian peeps. If you Conor got destroyed, man. You would yeah. love Ireland? Why would you? Why Damn, Connor? why would you say that? Yeah, why, why? why Ireland looks cool. Us? Dude, Talk Irish people Ireland. look lit, man. Irish people look like they're a lot of fun to hang out with. Yeah. I wish it was cold. I can't wait for winter. How cold does it realistically get in Australia, dude? Does it get, like, really, really cold? Because, like, all the memes is, like, it's always, like, super freaking hot in there, bro. Yeah, I have no idea how cold Mark watched it, too. Everybody's saying that Connor got... Yeah, Connor got... Even Promise is, like, Connor got knocked. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Connor, Connor got completely freaking worked. I was calling it, too. So, like, all of my friends uh, were, like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, Connor McGregor's gonna win. He's too good. And I was, like, Connor McGregor's washed. He hasn't fought in like a year and a half. He's not going to do anything. He's lost like his last three fights. He's not going to do anything. Right? And all my friends are like, bro, like he's one of the best like boxers in the UFC. Like his boxing style so good. His leg kicks are amazing. And I was like, bro, he's going to get worked, especially if it goes past the second round. He lost in the second round to three leg kicks. Yeah, bro. Oh, it's Padraig. Okay, yeah, Padraig. Padraig, yeah. Did we pronounce, uh, did we pronounce it correctly? Padre. I think it is. No one can pronounce it right, so I go by Connor online. Also, Ireland's just boring, but it's still here. Dude, I want to go to Ireland, man. I want to have some potatoes. Oh, oh, my bad. My bad. I, I clicked forward. Rip Lugia. I'm sorry, Binos. Who is Ham? There's a Ham? Who is Ham, guys? And the winner is Ooh, Josh. Josh. Josh has played in two weeks, and he has won once each. Wow, that's awesome. All right, Josh, what do you want as your winnings? Japanese Lugia, Promo Raichu, Togekiss V, or, okay, so Togekiss goes out to Josh. Blob this is going to be Connor, by the way. I'm fine with it. Okay, so we... Insta, right? Yeah, Blobbox does, does not have an Insta. Does Josh have an Insta? I don't think Josh does either because he messaged us on email. Is, oh, oh yeah. this is the Josh? That one last week too. That yeah. one last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Congrats, Josh. You're doing good, bro. Congratulations. And okay, so, so, um, so Connor wants us to just call him Connor. That he says that he's cool with it. Okay. 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 So now, dude, uh, it's, uh, it's crazy, man. Like, we have a lot of, like, international peeps too. Like, we're talking about how, like, we get spread out to, I guess, more diverse areas of the US. Yeah. But then we get pushed out a lot to the UK, um, Australia, even Japan. Like, we have a couple of Japanese yeah. viewers. One time, I got a Korean viewer. And he was, like, talking to me in Korean. And I was like, oh, like, I really like Pokemon, whatever. Oh, I was like, oh, that's cute. super cool. Like, Wow. Yeah. Uh, okay, oh, so, oh. Pokemon says, so we're at... John, uh, uh, Justin says, high is 122. Whew. Wow. That is that's insanity. That's, like, desert temp that's like Arizona type of temperatures. But what about winter? He did yeah, he said here, winter? yeah. Yeah, I guess down to 32 Fahrenheit. But the coldest I see anywhere here is like 26 Fahrenheit. Okay. okay, so 26 Fahrenheit, that's like Spain temperature. Like Spain in the in the um, winter gets to like negative, like some parts of Spain get to like negative 3, maybe negative 10 Celsius like tops. Yeah. Which I think 32 Fahrenheit is 0 Celsius. So I'm guessing 26 Fahrenheit is like minus 5 Celsius around there. Minus mm -hmm. 5, minus 6 Celsius. Um, Which is actually pretty crazy. Like, I didn't know it would get that cold. That's like snowing temperature. Wow. So 36% correct. That's actually really hard. Wow, that's I, a good quiz. I thought that it there it was gonna be a higher percentage. Yeah, that's a that's a I that's thought a good that quiz. a lot of people got them right. You see, guys, I make good quizzes too, yo. All right, game night quiz number two. You guys can start loading it up. Also, let us know if you guys want to do a, a team quiz. Like, they have a team mode here that we can maybe experiment with. See if anybody wants to run a, a team quiz. I don't know. That seems so complicated. We would have to try it out before. Yeah, we have to like mess around with See, it. I think it would be pretty cool. Work? Like, you split, like, half of the, the people get split into one team, and then you have into another team. Yeah, but then what are we going to give the, to the entire team? Code cards? A high five, virtually. <laughs> high five. No, I don't think that they would like that. <laughs> Gotta go uh, draw a concept map for uh, school. Good luck for everyone uh, going for La Lugia. Thank you so much for tuning in, um, Bezalis. How was your physics uh, test, by the way, Bez? I never asked, oh, yeah, dude. yeah, he had a physics test. Yeah, how was your physics test, man? Hope that went well. Hope you aced it, bro. Yeah. Um, you have a blessed night, man. If someone can get the right to for me. <laughs> it's been 42 all day in LA. Oh, it's actually pretty cold. 42, I mean, for us at least. For us, like, it was in the mid-70s today. 
Um, it was, it's actually pretty warm for like how we've been lately. I LA mean, 42? No, no, no. Here in Orlando. Oh yeah, yeah. For us it was warm. Yeah, yeah. Warm. Yeah, yeah. But for them being 42, that's I, I imagine that's pretty cold. Yeah. I don't know how cold the lake can get though. But California is kind of weird. Like one side can be like really sunny, and then the other side of them there are apparently like some mountains, and then the other side it could be snowing. I mean, like, super cold. that that tends to happen in mountain areas, just because like the the mountain, like the higher you go up, yeah, it gets cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, minus five to minus minus three to minus five in in Australia. And Connor, yeah. if you want to make a quiz, it's okay if you make it Irish. Make it with an Irish, and no one can read the questions. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get it translated. I'm gonna have to like, like have like a notepad on the bottom so I can like read the questions in English instead of Irish. I mean, we understand you though, Connor, and you write no, like, very well. No, like, I think he means like an actual like Irish like dialect. Oh, Irish dialect. Yeah. Oh, okay, I understand. Okay, okay, okay. For for you, um, that region of the world, peeps. So UK, um, and Ireland's, uh, peeps. What is the weirdest dialect? That you guys have, because I know that in Ireland there's a dialect. Northern Ireland has a dialect. I know that Welsh apparently is really weird. Like, like Welsh people don't like vowels. That's like a meme in the UK that Welsh people don't like vowels. Really? Yeah, like they 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 spell like their words with no vowels. That's complicated. Yeah. Hmm. So like that, that's like a really big meme, at least from like the UK YouTubers that I watch that like Welsh people hate vowels. Yeah. What's with Binos and Lugia? Promise, who doesn't want this Japanese Lugia? How many times yeah, are you gonna get a Japanese lit. Lugia? It's pretty lit. Okay, and Mark is back. Fast, Mark. Um, honestly, you would think the higher up uh, you are, the closer the, to the sun you are. Therefore, it will be warmer. Yeah, but that's also like the closer you are to the atmosphere, and it gets really, really cold up there. Well, to be honest with you, there are layers of the atmosphere that get warmer. Really? Yes. So it kind of zigzags. So we're in the troposphere, so mm -hmm. we get colder as we go up. But mm -hmm. then the stratosphere gets warmer, and then the mesosphere gets colder, and then there's a thermosphere that gets back to really warm, and then the ozone layer. Is that one why asteroids, when they come into the atmosphere, come in contact with the atmosphere, mm -hmm. they mix up the velocity with the impact that they get from coming into the atmosphere because the high temperatures up there, they light no, a fire? No, the, actually, the mesosphere is what breaks apart the meteor or the meteoroids. Yeah, but does it catch on but fire before that? That's because of the the gas or the air particles because when you get lower into the atmosphere we actually yeah. start to gain particles yeah um so that causes friction and then that's what breaks apart the meteors yeah also like then coming in contact with oxygen so there's no oxygen in space like it's a vacuum and then you need mm -hmm. oxygen to create a fire so for them to like actually catch fire and explode yeah, like that they makes need sense the too. oxygen particles to, yeah. to come around them but remember yeah. space is called space because there aren't any particles there is just space she studied weather, so she knows all this stuff, guys. Yeah, yo. If you guys have any questions about that, ask Natasha. I gave you guys science, but no one wants science. Everybody wants Pokemon. Yeah. So let's see. My mom. Wow, wow promise. promise's mom is from Australia. Wow, that's Very so cool. cool. Wow, that's awesome. In Ireland, we say the messages instead of the groceries. Really? Why? Why the messages? The messages instead, instead of, of the, the groceries. groceries. Wow. That is, but like groceries like food? <laughs> Josh said, oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, the groceries like food. <laughs> Josh said, oh, hi, Mark, to, to Mark coming back. <laughs> if you guys don't get that, it's a meme from the movie The Room, which is one of the funniest movies of all time. The people from uh, Jordy Shore uh, it can be hard to understand sometimes. Dude, Jordy Shore is great. Jordy Shore is Do you guys watch The Challenge? If you guys he watch the challenge, the challenge, the challenge is the best thing to ever happen in Jersey reality Shore. TV ever. If I were to choose an MTV show, yeah, that's, that's what Pogorkut is talking about, Jordy Shore. Oh, Gordy. That's, that's like the, that's the British version of it, the British version of Jersey Shore. No way. Yeah, Jordy Shore. Oh, that's funny. Is it the British version? I'm pretty sure it's the British version, right? That's like Newcastle area of England. And Justin loves space, he says. Yeah, dude, space is freaking crazy, man. Like, my goal, like, I'm studying for, all you guys that don't know, I am currently studying mechanical engineering. And I want to end up working, like, not in space, but, like, for space. Like, I want to end up working with, like, NASA and stuff like that. I think that would be freaking amazing. The Room, yes. Yeah, The, the Room is a good movie. <laughs> uh, what country are you from? What county are you from? Okay, okay, so there we go. We got the, the Australian pals. Talking oh to each goodness. other. Yes, I, oh, Promise watches the challenge. Promise you're my new best friend. Like, I already liked you before, Promise, but now I like you even more, Promise. You're late. Wow. <laughs> but isn't that, like, you know, a little bit too 
much for it's for it's TV year old? fourteen. It literally is TV fourteen. Really? Yeah, it's rated TV fourteen. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Titus guy says my favorite MTV show is Teen Wolf. Dude, I haven't seen Teen Wolf in years. I did not hit her. I did not. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Josh. Josh and I are memeing right now. We know about space that we do our own ocean. Yeah, that's kind of crazy too. Like apparently only 5% of the world's oceans have been explored. Yeah, we don't know the ocean. Talking about the ocean. There's a group of people. I found this out yesterday. There's a group of people. That have enlarged spleens and can like, I guess, have oxygen all over their body and they can hold their breaths underwater for like 14 Yeah, like these minutes. people have evolved. Um, there are people in like South Philippines and Malaysia. And they have evolved um, from living pretty much in the water for the last like couple thousand years to have a larger spleen. And spleen is what spreads like oxygenated blood cells to your like veins. So they can survive underwater without breathing for 13 minutes. And they can dive up to 200 feet, so which is like no oxygen evolved. water. Yeah, but that, that's crazy like to think that like humans can evolve like that. Like, can you imagine if you throw humans in the moon for long enough, how we could evolve, like even adapt to surviving with no oxygen in the moon. Like, that would be pretty crazy. I mean, that would be interesting, yeah. Like, like I mean, if it's happened on Earth, why can't it happen out there? You get me? But, I mean, we have, I mean, how can, how much can you extend uh, no oxygen? So, I mean, I mean, you would first need to have, like, some living conditions. Uh -huh. And now we're talking about terraforming planets. But, if you can somehow manage to grow plants, right? A conservation of plants in a foreign planet or even on the moon to create some sort of oxygen and slowly start introducing women, uh, well, women, men uh, and women to, humans to that environment. <laughs> Is that where your mind is at? Introduce <laughs> women to a planet one? Send what? all the women to the moon. <laughs> no. It would be the best run planet, guys. Who's with me? Who is with me? Best run planet with uh, women. No, but but yeah, like I think it would be pretty interesting to see how, like humans can adapt to like a small conservation of oxygen Wait and like. Wait till we end the planets. game night. She's gonna like, get so mad at me. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, promise yeah. says that she's our best friend. Definitely our best friend. Promise. Yes. The next Elon Musk. Oof, I wish, dude. That man is a freaking genius. Don't forget to fly all your subscribers to Earth 2.0 when you're at that level one. Uh, first, first 500 subscribers get to come in. So there's only <laughs> 30 spots available or 20 spots available. Yeah. Who was made beyond security or electrical? Um, I was doing electrical, but then the lights went off, so I couldn't see anymore, and somebody died, and I had to jump in the vents because I got scared. What? Yeah. Are you doing uh, Among Us? Among Us right now. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Anyway, it's 9:01. Time to start quiz number two. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, everybody saw Brad vent. Nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched the challenge when they did the challenges, not the other stuff. Oh, so she only watches the challenges. She skips the drama. Okay, good. I like the See, drama. The drama's like the best that. part. No, he loves drama. He, he, I love, I love drama when I'm not part of it. Yeah, he's one to just like sit back and then like eat popcorn. Like, yeah, I'm literally the, the let he me grab my popcorn. He's fly on the wall just watching everything. And then he calls me the drama queen. Natasha loves to be in the drama. No, I'm I not. I love to watch the drama. I am not at all in see, the drama. See, see, Promise is like me. See? Not at all in Promise the drama. is like my little sister. The thing about it is that if someone who I care about is like being, you know, hurt in some way, I stick up for them. Bro, the first thing Natasha told me when we met, she was like, I hate confrontation. <laughs> and then she literally fights with everybody. No, she I loves don't. to fight. Like, Natasha was born to be a boxer. No. Like, bro. Natasha, Natasha could arguably be, be Conor McGregor. Like, how? Look, you're Chinese <laughs> Zodiac. By the way, do you guys know you're Chinese Zodiac? I'm because a tiger. Juan is a tiger. His other Zodiac is an Aries, which is a fire. And, and whatever sign and then he's wait a don't say that don't say that because my quiz is about chinese zodiac i actually did the pokemon chinese stuff you did oh that's so cute yeah so the first question was actually that the chinese zodiac like what are the fire type pokemon based on oh funny yeah that or maybe it's cute. this question okay no no no, it's not all right there we, go, there we go there we go this quiz is actually really interesting it's all about like starter facts and stuff starters from which of these generations never get a second type so when they evolve all the way through, none of the three um, Pokemon get a second typing. They all stay fire, water, grass. Wow, Sarah, you're only a year older than me. I was born in 92. I'm a monkey. <laughs> I'm a Chinese Zodiac. <laughs> okay, so Sarah's a goat or a ram. Lane is, says I think that... It's a, is it a ram? I have no clue. Lane wants a Lugia. He wants a Lugia. Ooh, uh -oh. Beanos. Beanos. Yeah. Dang. Beanos is like, look, promise. I've Blobbox is a dragon. Cards Ooh, for you. That's cool. I wish I was a dragon. Dragon is cool. I'm a ram in my, like, normal Zodiac. Yeah. I don't remember what my Chinese... Well, Captain, look it up, yo. Yeah, you have to type in, it's your year, Captain. Yeah. Like, the year you were born, Chinese Zodiac, and it comes up. 
Well, whoever can get me the right you, thank you. <laughs> 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 I forgot what my zodiac sign is. Uh, Sarah, you're Pisces. Sarah, the Pisces. Okay, so her birthday's coming up then. Yeah, she's like a year, a, literally a year exactly to me. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Um. Also, somebody's birthday is next week. Jeffrey. Jeffrey's birthday Jeffrey? is like February second. So not yeah. next week, but like in the, the first couple of days of the but week. But Ju uh, Justin's birthday is also coming up because he's a Pisces. Too. Oh yeah, dude! And all wait, the Pisces are coming isn't up. Isn't Captain a Pisces as well? Yeah, his he's early March. Yeah, up. he's early March. Oh yeah. my goodness! So many wow, birthdays. Wow, that's crazy. Wait, that's Captain, crazy. you're a tiger. Oh lord, interesting. Tiger and Pisces. Hmm. Donuts. Who's donuts? Oh, can we have cookies or ice cream after? Maybe. I'm Actually, Twisty Tree sounds really good. Right? Yeah, he, it does sound good. We might yeah. have to go there. Ooh, a wild wizard has appeared. Wild, wild wizard. wizard. How you doing, bro? We haven't Long heard from you in a minute, man. See. How's life? I'm an earth sheep in the Sinai Zodiac. Okay, so Titan Sky is the same as Sarah, I guess. You guys are both the sheep. Beanos and I are the tigers because we're ballers. You know what's up? Yeah, what's up? 1998 babies. Uh, Donuts, not Victor, uh, Fastlane, Skeeter, and Josh. What? Jo Justin's a tiger too? <laughs> Bark is a 1962 Camaro. <laughs> so was he born in 1962? No, baby. He's, he literally says, I'm playing. <laughs> That's oh. just a car. It's, it's like an expensive old car. Oh, just, that was when <laughs> my mom was born, so I was like, okay. Uh, my sister's birthday is on the 31st of this month. Hey, happy early birthday to your sister, Brad. That's awesome. There's March 13th. Okay, so Sarah, me, and Captain are March. Yes, and then yeah. me and Justin are February. These were the yeah. best. Ooh, Pokemon Collector's Tiger too. I wonder if Pokemon Collector's like the, the previous iteration then. Because it repeats every 12 years because there's 12 of them. Yeah, probably. Because so, he's like 8 years... 12 years older than me, yeah. Yeah, he's 6 yeah, years older than me, and then I'm 6 years yeah, older Yeah, yeah, so he's 12 years older than me. Yeah. Wow, that's that's so cool. That's why that's why we get along so well, bro. Just as my homeboy. See, it was meant to be. Which of these starters have two types since his first evolution? Rowlet. Rowlet is um, grass flying, and then it changes typings to grass ghost. Oof! We got Lane moving to the top. Josh in second place. Donuts in third. Blobricks in fourth. And not Victor in fifth. By the way... For all you guys that are relatively new, um, aka Josh, Josh, uh, if you win twice, what we're gonna do is we will consider your win, but the price will be dropped down to whoever's in second place. Um, just because we don't want one person to just win all three quizzes and take all three prizes, because I feel like that takes away from the fun for everybody else. So you can show off your skills, and we'll be like, dang, like he's killing it. But the prizes will go like trickle down to whoever's in second. Then if first and second places have won, then it'll trickle down to whoever's in third. Well, Josh is saying I'll just give it away. That's okay, okay, okay. Thank there we you. go. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm good. How about you? We're chilling, Wild Wizard. We're good, bro. I'm doing a face reveal soon. Ooh, we're gonna see what uh, Wild Wizard wow. looks like. We're excited, man. We're excited. Now, guess my favorite animal. It starts with the first letter of my name, Penguin, because that's my favorite animal, dude. If my favorite, if if Promise and I have favorite animals, that that's it. That's it. Yes, Wulu Nation. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, hashtag Wulu Nation, <laughs> Sheep Zodiac, Penguin, see, oh, Beanos, Beanos, don't tell me your favorite animals are Penguin too, No, Beanos. I think Beanos was answering He was Thomas. guessing, yeah. Yeah. Favorite babies? Yeah. 1986, so yeah, so me and, Cap uh, me and um, Justin are 12 years apart. So did you kill Blue Wild Wizard? What? I'm so confused. Uh, what about a shirt? You want a shirt? Ooh, that's a spicy giveaway. That's an expensive giveaway. That's a very expensive giveaway. Yeah, that's an expensive giveaway. giveaway. Ooh! Konnichiwa, Chiyo-san, Ogenki des. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi -o. Josh, win the Raichu for me. Ooh, Josh, Josh. Now you have a lot of pressure. You have to win the Raichu for, promise. Uh, I saw Wizards and Weapons. These people are still talking about freaking Among Us. It will be in your YouTube channel. Okay, okay, we'll see it there. We'll see it there. They're they're playing Among Us in the chat, Wild Wizard. Oh, that's cute. Elephants are my favorite animals, but I love penguins too. Elephants are pretty cool. You guys know about my band, East Coast Elephants. So elephants are pretty OP. Uh, but penguins are definitely my favorite animal. You guys know that penguins love when they get tickled. Look up Cookie the penguin getting tickled. Yeah, it's super cute. It's like a baby penguin and like a zoo, and they're like tickling it under its wings, and it's like laughing. 
It's adorable. Yeah, it is super cute. That's, what is your, wait, your favorite animal is a penguin. Yeah, my favorite yeah. animal is a penguin. Yeah. Your good. favorite animal is a dog. No, it's not. It's a puka. Puka is my favorite just everything, but I, you know my favorite animal. We would never win that dating show, but you don't know what my favorite is, but I know what your favorites are. It's only because I talk about penguins all the time. Bro, I know everything. But you don't know things about she, Okay, like. okay. She got mad at me because she asked me what her favorite color was. And I said her favorite color was purple because the day before she had told me it was purple. And she's like, it's indigo. And I look up indigo and indigo is literally like a branch of like purple and blue. Bro, it's not. It's indigo. That's to, my favorite to color. To guys, to guys, know, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. You know what my favorite color is. It's like, it's indigo. And I'm like, no, it's purple. Captain, your, your favorite animal has to be like ocean water related because you're captain. Right? Ooh. Or maybe the parrot. Maybe it's the, the parrot. kraken. Yeah. The Kraken. Let's start a new playthrough in Pokemon Shield. Hey, what did you choose as your starter, Chio? Let's see. Promises. Okay. So okay, so Captain Morgan is also a tiger. 1986. So, wow. So, so look at that. How many tigers? That's pretty cool. That is pretty interesting. You awesome. know that tigers and monkeys do not like each other. They're the worst couples. And that's what Juan and I want. Oh, Josh says that he'll buy one. Okay, so that's another one down. So we have uh, Josh and Frankie down for shirts wow. now. Wow. Again, Super guys, cool. if you guys want shirts, let us know. Um, Send us an email or send us a, a DM on Instagram. Let us know like, what size you are, what color you would like them and stuff like that. And once we get enough orders put together, we'll actually make a placement for the for the order. Because, again, the more, the more orders that we get, the cheaper it will come out to be. So it works out in your benefit. Mandy says, I love big cats, especially tigers. And then Captain Ro assigned me a favorite animal because I told him that the parrot or water has been his favorite. Um, have you seen how, how how smart walruses are? Dude, walruses and seals are like really, really smart. And dolphins. I feel like aquatic animals tend to be like the smartest. Aquatic animals and um, air animals. Like flying animals? Mm -hmm. Like birds are super smart too. Mm. Maybe it's my favorite, but there's another. What's your other uh, favorite promise? I'm trying to think. Maybe puppy? That's our Platypus. A platypus? <laughs> I don't know what other things start with a, a P. A parrot? Parrot, yeah, parrot. But I don't think puppy's an animal. Puppy's a dog. It's, it's, a, it's a dog. <laughs> How many starters have two types since their base form? Um, I love It's koi. like dark blue what or cyan. Koi? koi fish. Koi's fish? Yeah. Mm, we like to eat fish. We had sushi. Sushi yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, sushi is good. good. Yeah, it's good. Score bunny. Okay, okay. Score bunny. Is score bunny like the default favorite? I feel like score bunny and grookey get the most love. And yeah. Sobo's just kind of sad. I think Sobo reminds me of Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like it's always like down. I like Sobo. I don't really like Sobo. No, it's not my not my thing. Okay, so Captain likes ravens. Maybe ravens are from, cool uh, animals. Ravenclaw, even though Ravenclaw is not a raven. Yeah, it's not a raven. In the symbol. Yeah. It's the, a different it's bird. It's weird. Yeah, it's a different Which bird. It, it's it? a hawk, I'm pretty sure. Something no, like that. No, it's not a hawk. It's not a crow. I'm pretty sure it's a hawk. It's some other animal. Another bird. If yeah. you say so. Um. Wait, but Victor said you were in. Brad is still playing Among Us. <laughs> That's why I got one tattooed. I love the what they represent. What do koi fish represent, Justin? I know, like they're supposed to be like very peaceful fish. Hmm. Two. It's two Pokemon. There's a Bulbasaur and Rowlet. So what is Promise's favorite? Oh, it's pink. Oh, a pig. Pigs? A pig. A baby you know, pig. You know, pigs are not actually like all pink. Like, there's like a lot of different colored pigs. Yeah. There's like, like black pigs and yeah. yeah. There's different colored pigs. Yeah. What is my favorite animal? Starts with an O. I'm a star. That's not. I'm a knight. No. Uh, my animal. Artillery. Of, of choice. No. Octopus. No. <laughs> I literally have this animal all over the apartment. An owl, Thank you. Stop making it. Promise is octopus. Why would you choose an octopus for me, Promise? I chose cute <laughs> animals for you, bro. Dude, octopus are super smart and super cute. Octopus are like some of the smartest animals ever. Yeah, no thank you. No, they're not. What you mean no thank you? Is that a factual statement? I don't care. It's an eagle. See, it's a, I thought it was a hog. It's an eagle. Okay. Yeah. See? My current team after finishing the first badge is Dod Dodier? Dod How do you say that? My current team after finishing the first badge is Doddler. Oh, uh, level 21 Psyduck, um, 21, Rabu 21, and Magnemite 21. That's actually a pretty good team. It's pretty, pretty, um, well spread out. Is Doddler pure bug or is it bug psychic already? That's actually a really, really good, like, even out team. You have a lot of coverage. Legend says if they swim up the Golden River, which is a tough current, uh, they'll turn into a dragon. They represent good luck, and good luck and swimming upstream represents overcoming hardship. Wow, that's really cool. So it's like, 
It's like wow. a salmon in a sense, like how salmons, like they're born in uh, fresh water and then they swim out to salt water to live their life. And then to procreate, they have to swim back up the river to to fresh water again. Interesting. Yeah, and then they die in fresh water. That's sad. So they're born and die there, but then they live their entire life out. Hmm. Yeah. Not, I like another Bug psychic? Animal, okay, so it's bug psychic it's already. A different letter. What? <laughs> Okay, guys, what other animals start with a PR? But it starts with a different oh, letter? Oh, it starts with a different letter. What? Wait, I'm com Wait, so... I'm the year of the pig. Okay, so Promise is the year of the pig. So that's why oh, she likes the pig. Promise says that her mom loves octopus. Okay, I'm sorry. Dude, oct no, but octopus are really cool. Okay, what is the plural of octopus? Is it octopuses or is it octopi? I have no or idea. Or just one octopus, two octopus? Probably it's like deer, deer. Yeah, octopus. Yeah. There, are, there's a, there are many two octopus? octopus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably. Uh, we haven't really been paying attention to the quiz. Bye, wild wizard. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, dude. Have a great night, man. So, octopi. Octopi. Okay, octopi. Octopuses. Octop <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Bad bro just saying that, bro. It's... <laughs> you had to search uh, walrus whistle. Okay, well, look it up. That sounds interesting. That sounds funny. That's a tricky one. Since your uh, rival gets it. Yeah, exactly. You can't pick Eevee because it's forced to your rival. Wait, Victor says that, that he hears octopuses... But people use octopodes. What? Octopodes. Oh. Octopodes. Octopodes. I actually never English heard that. English is hard. Yeah, English is a hard language. English is uh, hard. Blake Bob starts with a bug tab, then gets a bug psyche when it evolves into dollar level 10. Okay. Okay, so that's actually really, really good coverage. That's really good coverage. And I feel like um, Orbeetle doesn't get as much love as it should, bro. Orbeetle is a cool looking Pokemon. It's like a scientist. It's not a mad scientist. And it represents a radar. What is the name of Greninja's hidden ability? Ooh. By the way, has anyone seen or did anyone see Mr. Beast's live stream today of the moon, like putting like a picture on the moon? We tried to send one to see could react to it, but he didn't react he to didn't it. He didn't react to it. We sent one yeah. like of us like going like this and <laughs> with the Pokeballers. <laughs> yeah, he didn't react to it. <laughs> oh, Thank you so much for leaving a like, well, Wizard. I appreciate it, brother. You have a blessed night, man. Octolock. Yeah, Octolock. Well, a lot of people got this right. A lot of people know Greninja's sitting ability. Protein. Not an animal that's pink, but it starts with a different. But so, does it start with P? What is those, no with a different letter than P? What other animal is pink by nature? Flamingos. Flamingo. Do you know flamingos are not actually pink? Flamingos are born white, but they have a strictly shrimp diet, and the coloration from eating all that shrimp makes their skin turn pink. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, problem is like, yep. What's up, dude? I'm too smart, man. What's <laughs> up, ostrich? Ostriches are cool. They smack their head against the floor. Wait, is that her little thing in the? Is it a flamingo in her? I don't know. What's avatar? your? Yeah, what's your avatar uh, picture? Uh, it's promise. It's pink, but I can't tell what it is. I was a marine biology major, and it's octopus is the plural form. Okay, okay. So oh. we go from an actual expert. That's crazy. You're a marine biology major, and you have a snorkeling ship, but you're a captain. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Michael is here. Promise. Oh, Michael has arrived. Michael's arrived. Which of this Pokemon is not a fire type? That's so cute. It's a painting that's in Palm Springs. Okay, so it's a picture of a painting. It's a painting that's in Palm Springs. Palm Springs is in California? Look, Palm Springs, yeah, or Arizona? Wait, why do you look at me like that? I like, know. if I'm wrong. No, I'm, I'm, I, I read uh, Blobrex message that Orbito is a UFO ladybug. Uh, but it's not only a UFO. So, Blobrex, if you look up like the story behind um, Blibbug, or um, Blibbug into Doddler into Orbito, it's actually based on a mad scientist deciding a ra uh, uh, designing a radar. Uh, that's why Dodler has like all the little like lights. It's supposed to like, be a radar pinpointing like enemy ships or something like that or um, enemy um, aircrafts. Um, I saw it from. Remember how we saw like 10, 20 minutes of this video between Wolfie, PokeMMD, uh, Loxin, and Noggin, and some other YouTuber doing like trivia questions against each other. Yeah. That one of them was like asking like. Pokemon trivia facts to the VGC players, and then the VGC players were asking them like VGC questions to like the casual players. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the questions in there. You see, promise is like, why didn't you join sooner? <laughs> yeah, Michael, what were you doing, bro? You're supposed to be here at 8 p.m. sharp, man. Captain says, fun fact: no, Ravens can please. actually learn to talk. Dude, Captain, what are the odds that I told Natasha that this morning? Yeah, he did. Literally, we were driving around, and out of nowhere, like, just the thought came into my mind, and I'm like, do you know that ravens and crows can actually learn to talk and mimic humic sounds? Like, what are the odds, Captain? That, that's that been happening a lot lately. It has been happening a lot. Man, this is that she knows that, too, ravens and crows. Yeah, what are the odds? I didn't even read that comment. I said, crows, too. What's up? What's up? Yeah, guys. 
We're all synced up. Penis is like, Ravens can talk. What is <laughs> life? <laughs> the other is pretty weak offensively, but it's, uh, uh, but it's tanky. Does that change when it evolves into Orbito? Is Orbito very tanky as well? Binos and Lugia. Question mark? Is that Binos? Or is that uh, Sarah and Andy trolling Binos? Blobberts is still winning though. Who's Donuts, by the way? Man, I really want something sweet. Who is Donuts? Michael, there are no excuses, man. You have to be here at 8 p.m. You've been living a life of Oh, he was watching the new Attack on Titan. So Michael's prepared for tonight's episode then. For tonight's ultimate quiz. Oh, he is? Michael, tonight, tonight ultimate quiz is Pokemon, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, and My Hero Academia. And I have a lot of spoilers in there from the anime. <laughs> the final quiz tonight, Michael. Yeah, yo. Final quiz tonight is Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, and Pokemon. Yeah, they, do you know when you play with dogs and they sneeze? Yeah, Puka sneezes yeah, yeah, they, all the time. Yeah, they sneeze um, to tell you they're playing with you. Yeah, Aizen Zan also references Gundam because of the V-Fin on his head when it's evolved. Wow! I actually didn't even notice that, Victor. That's actually pretty pretty cool. What did Victor say? That the orbital design, the V on his head, also represents Gundam. What's Gundam? It's, uh, Is that Gundam style? No, no that's Gangnam style. Oh, Gangnam. <laughs> Look, I'll show you what Gundam is. Does this come up here? No, it doesn't. Okay. Gundam. It's like little robots and stuff that they're like super cool that you can like build and stuff. Oh. It's like an anime. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you can buy the thing and like build them up like actual statues. Wow. Yeah, it's really cool. They're like super collectible. And no Vinos, the original design for Gyarados. Oh, Gyarados. Oh, okay. Never mind. I never had a cat, so I'm not going to disagree, Michael. What did Michael say? Promise cats are better than... No, they're not, Michael. They are horrible. They are not clean. Who, cats? Cats are not clean. Don't cats ki clean themselves? They do, but they dirty everything else in the house. They only care about themselves. So they clean themselves and they leave hair everywhere. They splash their litter on the wall. They pee. If they're mad at you, they'll pee on your clothes because, like, they're, tr you know. That's uh, why you throw them out the window. They're horrible. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. <laughs> why is the day ruined? Did you get it wrong? Maybe you got it wrong. Nah, I never had a cat, so I'm not going to disagree, Michael. Oh, dude, so Dod uh, Doddler, not Doddler, my bad. Orbito is very bulky, too. So it's bulky and a little bit offensive. Okay. What, which set is getting a reprint? Um, is it on the quiz? Is it Crimson Invasion? It was, it's an XY, is, is, is it a Sun and Moon or an XY set? I think it was Crimson Invasion. Hmm. I remember. My disappointment is immeasurable. The gear was meant to look like a weird sea monster with no face, use a big mouth with sharp teeth. I will mention the say I will mention the said name in cases in the quiz. But did you see what said is getting a reprint? It's not on the quiz, Justin. This quiz has barely any. Um, but he's very sweet of him too. Yeah, to ask. Yeah, it's, that's awesome. You didn't give anything away. Cosmic. Okay, Cosmic Eclipse. There we go. I knew it was a Sun and Moon set. It wasn't Crimson Invasion. Cosmic Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's actually really good. Um, you can get the golden. Is it the golden Lunala and the golden Solgali on those? That's pretty good. Wow, in Scotland it is illegal to have less than two guinea pigs because they are social and they actually have matching services yeah. in Scotland. What? I didn't know, I didn't know if it was, it was illegal, but in, in Spain, so I grew up in a farmhouse in Spain and we actually used to breed guinea pigs. And you can only buy them in twos. Like when you would go to like a farmer's market and buy them, oh, you have to buy them lonely? in twos. Yeah, and they die. So yeah. then why does PetSmart do that? I don't know. Why can you? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, they get lonely. Die. Same with they hamsters. Like, smell. like, uh, yeah, we kept them outside. We had like a house built for them, like a yeah, shed, and they would like run around the hay and stuff. Guinea pigs smell. But they it's, pee on themselves. But it's very common for for hamsters and stuff like that too. Like hamsters are very social animals. Like you have to give and penguins too. Penguins get but really really. But hamsters really eat their their people. They eat their family. Yeah, I think you don't feed them. You can't have like two of the same breed or two breed uh, gender w together. Yeah, you can have two of the same gender together. Yeah. Like once they procreate, you have to and remove. And you can't them. have the children with them. Yeah, you have to babies. remove the kids. Yeah, you have to remove the gates. That's, that must be like horrible. Yeah. Uh, because so Victor is people. saying tiger. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, wait. No offense, one and that. What do you mean, one offense, one and that? Because they don't listen if you don't. What? Why are you screaming? Promise. What? Oh, <laughs> they say that we don't because listen to her. Yeah, because we we skip messages. I think it's that the, the chat is flowing, guys, and the chat is hard to keep up with and talk and all that stuff. If you, don't, <laughs> if you don't yell at them. But okay, okay, so explanation. Chinese zodiac animals that have not been used by fire starters. Litten, which I thought was a tiger, is actually a cat. So Litten takes up the cat spot for the Chinese zodiac, not the spot of a tiger. 
So we're still missing a tiger. We're missing the monkey. No, we're missing the tiger. We're missing the sheep. We're missing the ox. And we're, miss we're missing the snake. Those are the four that, that we're missing. Yeah, Incineroar is a, it's apparently a large cat, but it's not a tiger. It's apparently a, a large cat. Really? I mean, from, from what I saw yesterday, all the images that like placed them like that, like the linen was the cat. So I've been being nice, Michael. Oh, Michael and Promise are gonna go at it <laughs> again. Donuts are good. Donuts are good. Who's donuts, man? Is Wait, that, it has to be Barbara? No, they. It was a uh, Beanos, I think. No, Beanos is Beanos and Lugia. Someone said that he was donuts. I forgot who. Someone said it was donuts. Yeah. Maybe it's Beanos. I don't know. Uh, my daughter at level 21 already has light screen and reflect at uh, this early level. All my pokers breezed uh, through the first gym. Dude, you're playing very, very strategic, um, Chio. Like, usually when I do a Pokemon playthrough, I just go for, like, the hardest hitting moves and just smack everything. Uh, maybe, maybe that's why I'm bad at Nuzlocke. Yeah, Fennekin is a dog, even though it's a fox, technically. But, yeah, it's considered a dog. Um, I like Fiery Promise. Where's she at? I need to throw hands with someone. <laughs> I do not play Minecraft, Brad. I am sorry. Did you know cows have the best friend cows? And if you take them away from each other, they get under stress. Really? That's, so sad. That's crazy. The more you know about animals. We're, this has turned into a, like a zoology class. It has. I've learned <laughs> a lot about animals today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Bino's in the first place. He really wants that Lugia. Yeah, he wants the Lugia really bad. Who has seen the monkey that knows karate? What? No idea. I am so Confucius. I have not. Brad is just yelling that he doesn't like pizza. Pizza's good, Brad. We actually <laughs> wanted pizza today. Yeah, we wanted pizza today. But she wanted Little Caesars and I don't like Little Caesars. What do you mean? What? I've had a rough week, Michael. Uh, she left, but she will be back next week. Oh, Fiery Promise left. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Dollar is all about being tanky on both screens. Of yeah, both screens early game is super broken. Because at that point, like everything does have damage to you. Mojo Jojo Jo. What? Oh, that's from uh, Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, Powerpuff Girls, the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where are the face shields? Here he comes. He has appeared. <sighs> he has appeared. It's because you've had a rough week that you must embrace the fire. Yeah, I promise. You must rage at the Michaels. You must rage at the Michaels. All right, there we go. Beanos is still keeping up, guys. And Donuts is... Oh, my God. It's a super tight quiz. I didn't see that. This is a really, really tight quiz. quiz. Yeah, we kind of like got distracted into the conversation this time around. What's good, Arreda? How you doing, bro? I stick on mushrooms today. Bro, I don't like you, Captain. I want to stick on mushrooms now. He's a very good cook. Yeah. Yeah. Who did the Miami Heatrons lose to on their first GBS Draft League match? Oh, you guys have to have watched the video from this week's this match. One. Yeah, you know. I mean, you have to make the thumbnail. Of course you know. Yeah, but I, you know, don't really pay attention much. Uh, How is Bulbasaur a dinosaur? Uh, it really has it on the name. Soar. Yeah, it's kind of like the... Uh, I'm... Venusaur? Venusaur is the final evolution of Bulbasaur. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, they're dinosaurs. The, yes. Yeah. But like, the prefix and suffix, like, tell a lot about the actual Pokemon. Yeah, like, so you have Venus, a Venus flytrap mixed with a dinosaur. Right. Yeah, because and that's Venus what you get. Venus is a prefix and then yeah. Soar is a suffix. Yeah. Um, sorry guys, I didn't watch this where I lost my, this is where I lose my Lugia. Wow, it's because no, Venus didn't want to watch Venus. her VGC fight. <laughs> Justin knows, Justin knows. Heard that team in blue is going to do well. Bro, that team in blue is freaking fire, bro. <laughs> Who did you end up choosing, by the way? Did you end up going with the, with your strat of picking all the Gen 1 Pokemon? Wow, Barbara doesn't remember even after watching. Wow, Barbara. I uh, like, uh with Michael Promise is asking for you on the stream and He's then like, you just saw this. I just saw this. He came on his own even without the text. <laughs> you got it. You got it, Beanos. We did lose against the Boston Bravery. Shout out to Ryan, dude. That was a that was a good battle. If you guys saw the battle, um if you guys want to give me any tips on why where I went wrong, really really help it. Really really help me. Um out it was a good battle though. I, I felt like I tried my best considering that I was not prepared to for what he brought in at all. And I still like got one win and could have pulled out another if I played my cards better. 
But he he did outplay me, man. Like that was a good, good well, freaking. Oh, got it right. Yeah, but I was like not a rain team at all. Yeah, dude. I also like he brought the three Pokemon into his squad, but he didn't bring them into the actual battle any other freaking times. My Yo, when he watched the McGregor fight last night, I was the only one out of everybody that we were with that said that he was going to lose, and that said that he was going to lose because his neck was gonna snap. I was the only one that called it, and nobody believed me. Yeah, if you were here earlier, Michael, and on time, you would have joined in on our Yeah, we, we, we discussed it here. Yeah, we already discussed it, but because you came late, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, to drop out of the quiz, make man, sure dude. to like the stream. Yeah, guys, like the stream, please. If you guys can, like the stream. Really does help out the channel quite a bit. Because getting Magnemite early for uh, from Iron of Armor makes um, first gym easy. This is all the leader's month moves. True, because it's a uh, grass-type gym. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to talk about Magnemite though, because Magnus one actually is the Pokemon that destroyed me in the VGC battle video. Uh, so we're ready to take to talk about. Uh, we already talked about Conor McGregor, Michael. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Promise being sassy. Justin got all the Gen ones, dude. But what's your team looking like, Justin? Is it is it looking spicy? Is it looking like a spicy, spicy team? Got all my moves, items sorted uh, this morning. Ryan thinks I'll do well. Uh, what's your lineup looking like, Bogar Collector? Are you going to battle against uh, Justin? No, he's in the minors. I'm in the majors. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's it's so kind of scary. How they have minors and majors. I, I should have got. I should have started in the minors, dude. Honestly, I got, I, they threw me into the freaking big boys to swim Wait, against. Wait, you're them. in the majors. Yeah, I'm, a ma I'm in the majors. Yeah, so I'm playing against like all the people that have already played before, like the but people why that are I've won you before. In there? Because I guess I have a reputation for being decent at VGC, I don't so they know. just threw me into the majors. Uh, but I, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I got completely demolished by Ryan. Like he did outplay me because I only prepared for one of his strategies. But uh, we were talking about it yesterday, and he was like, "Yeah, you like adapted really well to what I was bringing in. Like you weren't prepared for it at first, but like I still took one game, and mm -hmm. the last game was pretty tight. Interesting. But I just don't. If all the battles are gonna be like that, it's gonna be a really, really rough season, man. Like it's gonna be hard for me to get into into the playoffs. Um. Oh, Promise is giving away a code card, guys. Everybody got this one right. Wizard of the Coast. You guys don't like the Wombats of the Wiggles? <laughs> the Wombats of the Wiggles is a really, really good option. Um, Wait, it's not the Wombats? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Uh, I'm not going to believe it. I hate to see him lose, but he has a great sports range. Yeah, yeah. It, it, they were both really cordial about it. Like, both Poirier and McGregor were like, yeah, like, Poirier was like, he's a great fighter. Like, I just ended up getting the best of him today, whatever, whatever. And then my girl was like, yeah, like, he beat me, like, I didn't measure myself properly with the leg. It was, it was a, I wouldn't say it was a good fight, but the little bit that it lasted was decent. Yeah. Oh, bye, Lane. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Lane. Have a good night, brother. Uh, let's see. Is Lane leaving, or is, it, is he saying see ya to Brad? Oh. I don't know. I have no clue. Because Brad's a BRB. You prefer Magneton over Magnezone? Why? Why, Chio? It's clinically 11. One energy. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the pack says 10 playing cards. 10, that's where I got it, from the packs. Wait, Lane says welcome back. Okay, there we go, there we go, see? <laughs> I think it was the same bye to Brad, there oh, we go. See, okay. Cool, Michael doesn't hate me. Why? Why don't you hate, why don't you hate Promise, Michael? Promise says, that's an interesting hobby your parents enforce you on. What? My parents watch the fights and then they force me to watch. Dude, that's cool. I wish my parents let me watch fights. Well, actually, they did let me watch fights. I watched like all the boxing matches growing up. And that's why I like boxing. The boxing is cool. Have you guys seen Canelo fight? Canelo's a freaking baller. Promise, don't get offended with what Michael said. It's just that he doesn't like his name, so... <laughs> Papa he... said the what? The no. Wombats of the Jiggles. Yeah, the Wombats <laughs> of the Jiggles. The Wombats... That, that should be our new channel name, guys. The Wombats of the Jiggles. Promise, keep calling him Michael with an E-A. <laughs> Mikael? Yeah, he doesn't like his name at all. Mikael. <laughs> so if you mess it up even more, he'll be very appreciative, promise. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Natalia, don't start. <laughs> Rename yourself Mikael. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't miss much, Brad. We're just here, you know, uh, kicking the can, hanging out. All right, kicking so. The can. Yeah, because usually you say kicking to something else, but that's a bad word, so I don't want to say oh. it. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> or shooting the, you know. Isn't... Which of these cereal companies is partnering up with Pokemon, guys? Okay, so Boca Gator told us his team. Blastoise, Clefairy, Butterfree, Charizard, Machamp, Alagazam, Golduck, Pikachu, Wigglytuff, and Slowbro. Look, guys, so you got redirection in both Wigglytuff, Clefairy. I don't know if Butterfree uh, learns Rage Powder, but if it doesn't, you get that too. You also get Sleep Powder in Butterfree, which is actually pretty good with its ability. 
Wait, did you see what Chiyo wrote about Magna? Magna Zone. Yeah. Okay, you read hers. Uh, Slightly I... faster, this one? No, no, there was one that yeah, she yeah. wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that a lot. Above. Yeah, she liked Magna Zone over okay. Magna Zone. And then she's explaining why here. But I'm dissecting Pokemon Collector's team right now. I see. So you don't really have rain, right? You don't have rain because uh, you don't have any rain setters with Politoed or Pelipper, but you went for all Gen 1s. Um, Gold of Guts, Swift, Swift Swim. Uh, Blastoise is good, especially with Rain Dish, but you need to set up rain for that. Charizard is good. My Champ is good. Pikachu is good as a, actually as a light screen setter and stuff like that. It's actually pretty decent. You have a really, really good supporting squad. I just want to see how you're going to do it like, offensively with Blastoise, Charizard, uh, Machamp. He loves Blastoise. Yeah, he loves Blastoise. Like, but Blastoise is a good Pokemon. Like, with If you can get the G-Max uh, Blastoise move and set up... But you can set up Rain with G-Max Blastoise move. That's the thing. Um, but if you can somehow set up Rain and then just Rain Dish, G-Max Blastoise, you can do a lot of damage, man. And then Clefairy redirecting. Or even putting the other Pokemon to sleep with Butterfree. You can do a lot of freaking damage, bro. Let's see the winners. Alright, oh, it's over already? Wow, that was, yeah, that was a fast quiz. Over. Hold up, hold up. Before we see the winners, let's catch up with the chat. Promise, see, I would all, but I always thought I would be like, disrespect to my parents, so I kept it. True, true. I mean, <laughs> at least at least you don't have a last name like my last name, Michael. I don't know if you know my last name. We won't say it on the stream. But yeah, my last name is not a great last name. He doesn't know the, how, it, how it is in Met, like, What Mexico. it means, yeah. Yeah. Um, it gets Rage Powder, so so it does get Rage Powder. So Butterfree is a really really good Pokemon. I, I really like the Butterfree as an option. Um, I right, miss clicks. First two times my sister called me for questions about Minecraft, and the third time my dad wanted me to do ten okay knee push-ups. Oh yeah, because Brad is doing karate, right? You were doing karate, Brad, or was it judo that you were doing? That was a bit of a trade-off that I couldn't have Rain Setter to keep uh, to keep a Gen One, dude. Just you know, like like. Mend the rules a little bit and get a Gen 3 or Gen 2. Get a Politoid. And Gorilla Tactics. That'd be other with big pecs as his ability puns. <laughs> see? You see what I did there? Anyway, alright. Let's see who won this quiz. We got Josh. Wow, Josh. He's doing great. Yeah, he's doing great, yeah. Donuts. I think that's Barbara. And... Beanos! Oh, he got the Lugia! Beanos getting the Lugia! There you go, Beanos! There you go! Wow, that's There you awesome. go, Beanos! Oh, wow, look at Courtney's Harry Potter cake! Wow, that's super cute! Wow, that actually looks really fire! Right? Alright, GG, Beanos! Sorry about the Lugia hype, guys! It means a lot to me for special reasons. My uncle gave me a Lugia toy when I was super young, and that's when I got into Pokemon. Oh! oh. So that's Beanos' Lugia love origin story! So there you go! That's yours, Venus. I'm glad we're able to satisfy you and make you happy, bro, bro. So, Donuts is Barbara, right? Yeah, Donuts is Barbara, I'm pretty sure. My sister refused to do three, so my dad yelled at her to do it, and it's homework for the karate class. Okay, okay, so you're doing your homework. That's good, Brad. And who's Venus here? Is he Venus or it's, uh, Asif? It's Asif, Asif, yeah. Or Asif. I don't know if it's Asif or Asif. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Michael, to your parents, did not force you to change your name. <laughs> Nice dude, workout is good for you. Yeah, Brad, you gotta be in shape, bro. Plus, if, if you become like really good at karate, you can like whoop people's booties. My niece, actually, my niece is like she's turning 15 this year, and she's actually a Balearic, like the Balearic, we're from the Balearic Islands in Spain, and she's a Balearic gold medalist in karate. She's a three-time champion, four-time champion, which Many is like pretty champion. cool. Yeah, so she's really good at that. Like they, they were considering him for the considering her for the Spanish. Olympic team. So, karate is actually really cool. Uh, I've been training uh, gaming clutch. 50% <laughs> correct. So your quiz was a lot harder than mine. Yours was 36, mine was 50. Wow, you were yeah. saying that yours was super... No, this one's super hard. The uh, ultimate quiz. The ultimate quiz. The ultimate quiz is super hard, guys. You got this, Mike. We have one more quiz Alright, guys. Tonight. Ultimate quiz. Speaking of names, Chio is just the short version of my first name. My actual name... It's really long. What is it, Chio? If you don't mind saying it in public. Mm. Now everyone, when my right you please. <laughs> Chio was the whole name. I don't have a belt, and I could only do one almost perfect push-up, but almost perfect because I bent a little bit. You're good, brother. Your age, I could not do any push-ups, dude. You're fine. I have to give us seven, so please hurry. 
What seven? Oh, that's at ten our time. I don't think we're gonna be done by Michael that time. Promise. Promise are so funny. I don't think we're gonna be done at that time. Promise. Do negatives every day, and you'll be able to do more. What are negatives? Instead of positives. Positives instead of that. Well, what's positives? Instead of like saying positives, you say negatives. And then but what are doing negatives? What's doing positive? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is happening. Promise you haven't received my blessings to leave yet. Slow the horses. <laughs> no, my night in it. Bro, you're still doing good, man. You're still doing good, Mark. You're chilling. And then I'm gonna sit this quiz out because we don't know any of the anime shows you guys are talking about. Sarah, just try. It's okay. If you get, if you don't know these animes, you need to watch them. At least every every show except My Hero Academia. I think My Hero Academia kind of died down after season two. Season three, season four were kind of meh. But, but the rest of the animes are really, really good if you guys get into them. Uh, negatives are when you do a bicep curl, for example, and you slowly really... Oh, okay, okay. So instead of like like holding it when you're going up, is when you're going down. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. See, so yeah, that, I don't know anything about working out. That shows you how much I used to go to the gym. Get on the juice, that'll help. <laughs> don't tell Brad that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, no. that's too good. Brad is 11, 12 years old. <laughs> Except Attack on, nah, Attack on Titan is baller, dude. Attack on Titan's la last season is really, really crazy right now. Well, there are two promises. Ooh. And promise is not playing. Ooh, so there's a promise and a not promise. So who do you think is Michael? Michael is the one with the meme. Like the the capital variation of the mm, letters. And not promise is probably Vabra? Vabra, yeah. Probably Vabra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are the two problems? Chiyo, Chiyo Shinata, Kawana Kamura. Wow. Chiyo Shinata, Kawana Kamura. Kawana Kamura. I'm probably butchering your name, and I apologize, Chiyo, if I am butchering your name. Chiyo Shinata, Kawana Kamura. We're gonna start at 9:45. 9:45, guys. Three more minutes or four more minutes. The last, the last card of the night. Of the last card tonight. of tonight, guys, is a Raichu GX promo from Shining Legends, or obviously the code cards. And if you guys want to come in here, you know, drop a sub, hang out with us in the channel, you guys can enter for the possibility of winning this. We have to get 500 by next week. If not, I'm gonna open it. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe. Uh, hashtag Pokeballers in the link in the description of our latest video. Yeah, and that's it. You're entered. Porg. What is Porg? Who took my name? <laughs> Brad, okay, so when you're lifting weights, Brad, you're still too young to lift weights. I don't recommend you lifting weights until you're like at least 14, 15, that your body's more developed. Um, but when you lift weights, like if you go up, like curling, that's a positive, I guess. And then when you're going back down, that you're like holding the weight down, um, that's a negative. Hmm. Yeah, Porgus is Star Wars character. That's what I thought. Is that the little... It's the little bat penguin. Yeah, the little it's thing. the bad penguin. Oh, I don't watch Star Wars, so I wouldn't know. I am Skeeter's just uh Skeeter sad. Okay, Skeet. But here it says Skeeter bad. Oh, Skeeter sad and Skeeter's bad. Oh, so that's Barbara. Barbara. Okay. So it's Skeeter sad, and then Barbara changed from Skeeter's bad to the real Skeet. What is happening right now? Daily Pokemon opens. <laughs> <laughs> Justin just switched it around. Extending her concentric movements. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm actually not a... The... I actually don't, don't watch Star Wars. I, I've never seen any Star Wars movie. It's a penguin chicken. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen any Star Wars movie. I'm, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Dude, that's why I go by Chio for sure. Okay. Okay. It is a long name though. It's okay. I have four names. Um, I can't say all four names because, you know, then, the, you know, legal stuff and then peeps everybody know who I am. But, yeah, I have four names. I will say my middle name. My middle name is Miguel. So I'm a Michael as well. But just in Spanish. He's a John Michael. Yeah, I'm a John Michael. Juan Miguel. Hence why my Pokemon name on Sword and Shield is Juanmi. Because those are my first name and then the first two letters of my middle name. Yeah. Uh, natives are more important than positives. They are essential for getting stronger. Um, on a way you can do positives on properly. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. If I ever start hitting the gym again, which I probably need to because I'm getting really, really out of shape. Uh, I need to start doing that. But I go how to do negative push-ups. <laughs> he says, later. <laughs> my condolences, Juan. Yeah, I know. It's because it's my grandfather's name. Hi, Luke. 
Where's Luke? Right above Michael, where he said my condolences. Oh, what's good, Luke Golden? Yo. What's up, bro? You wanna play with us tonight? This is the final quiz of the night, Luke. This is gonna test your ultimate anime knowledge. This is a new thing that we're doing as the final quiz of every um, quiz night. We're gonna do fi uh, four different animes, five questions per anime. Starting tonight is Pokemon, then Attack on Titan. Is it Attack on Titan? No, Pokemon, My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan. I think that's the order. Might switch around Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan. So, oh, look, okay, so he got. Okay, so he got. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be trash by the way. Don't say that, dude. You never know, man. This this quiz I am priding myself on right now is the hardest quiz I've ever made, ever by far. Like last time I said that, and the quiz was relatively easy. Tonight I am positively sure that most of these questions are gonna be very, very, very hard for you guys to um. Get right. Oh, well, don't worry, Luke. I mean, he's already saying that's a very difficult quiz. Are you a Trexy? No, no, I don't like uh, Star Trek either. I actually don't like the space movies, weirdly enough, even though I want to work with space. Uh, I like more of like, like Star Wars type of stuff, like wizardy stuff. Um, controlling the negative part of my movement is where all the tearing and all the muscle takes place. The upper part of a push-up should be explosive. Okay, so... The upper part should just be going, and then the downward part is the control. Hmm. <laughs> wow, y'all love my nickname. Because <laughs> everybody's Skeeter. <laughs> There's the real Skeet, Skeeter's bad, and Skeeter's sad. <laughs> That's funny. 26 likes. Guys, can we get to 30 likes today? Can we get to 30 likes tonight? Well, last time it went from uber hard to uber easy. This time it's going to climb the other way around. Trust me. And also to 30 likes. Oh, it's likes. 45. We want 480 subs, yo. Let's 480? 480? Let's do it. Tonight. Let's get to 480, guys. Let's get to 480 subs tonight. <laughs> but all right, let's start the... to join us. <laughs> our fam. Last quiz, guys. Last prize of the night is this Raichu GX promo or some code cards. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to our chance of winning this. Now, what Pokeball do you get from a red apricorn? From a red apricorn. Yep. What Pokeball do you get? Nope. 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 Yep. Yeah. Really? Yep. Alright. Um, My parents are Trekkies. What's the difference? Is there really that big of a difference between Star Trek and Star Wars? That's I heard that the, the fandoms like hate each other. Yeah, of course there's a huge difference. What? I have one of the most common Japanese girls' names. Uh, so finding me is like finding a needle in a haystack. Really? Hmm. I don't think I've met too many... I mean, then again, I don't know too many Japanese people. But even watching anime and stuff, I don't think I've, I've, I've seen too many Chios. That's actually pretty cool. But that cat question, <laughs> what cat question? I'm so confused. It's Brad. Can you start it? I just started Attack on Titan and my name is Titan Sky. Okay, Attack on Titan is one of the big ones tonight. A uh, lot of spoilers on Attack on Titan, by the way. What? No one got it right. Huh? No one got it right. No What's one up? got it right. What's up? I told you guys this was going to be a hard one. Yeah, we can't make it that hard that no yeah. one can get it. They asked for the hard questions. I just delivered, Luke okay? Luke wants to know what the giveaway is. What is the giveaway? So, Luke, um, the giveaway is a box of uh, a DTB of Evolutions, Charizard, this one right here, or up to $50 in Pokemon product. Which, which also includes a video game. Yeah, like if you want to get Sword and Shield or I think Pokemon Snap is around that price range and it's releasing soon. Uh, once we hit 500 subscribers, we will give that away. The way you enter is you have to be subscribed. And then go to our latest video, whatever latest video you see. And in the description, there's going to be a link. Click on that link. It'll take you to a different video. Comment hashtag Pokeballers in that video. Yeah, it's our giveaway video. Yeah, so, so it'll be labeled as such. Yeah, so just go in uh, whatever latest video. Click on the link. And that link will take you to a specific giveaway video. And just comment hashtag Pokeballers there. And that's it. You're in. Yeah, but you How have many to different... be subscribed, Luke. Join the Fuego fam. We yeah. have the Fuego fam up there. Um, it's like the rivalry between Xbox and PlayStation. There's really not much of a difference. People just need something to argue for. I feel that. I, I figured it was gonna be something like that. <laughs> that box is so old. No, what? But oh, the e evolutions. The, it's yeah. being sold for 125 dollars. Yeah, yeah. This now. thing right now is like 150 bucks. Um, promise. Yeah. So I don't know yeah. what you're talking about, yo. That's like yeah. a steal. So how many different African colors are there? There are seven different African colors. Okay, four people got this one right, so it's okay, better. Okay, not too bad. It's better. Okay, so we got High Noon, Droikhead, Droichhead, uh, Tatis Sky, and Promise. But Michael, that's Michael Promise. Captain, I feel you. I love Star Wars, but my stepdad loves Star Trek, so it's a war of the stars here. <laughs> I find that so cool. 
Like, I never really had anything like that growing up. Like, for me, it was like a Barca Madrid yeah. type of thing, like growing up, like watching soccer. But I was neither of them. I was a Valencia fan, so nobody really cared. Where does Ashes Rowley like to sleep in the Sun and Moon anime? Wait, can you repeat? Yeah, so, uh, Luke, all you have to do is go to our latest video, like, I'll go to our channel. Okay. Yeah. Go to our latest video on our channel, and in the description of whatever latest video it is, there's going to be a link that says, comment hashtag Pokeballers here to enter the giveaway. So just click on that link and comment hashtag Pokeballers on that specific video. And that's it. That's all I have to do. Yep. Might be old, but I kill for it. Yeah, me too. I want. That's what I'm saying. If we don't hit 500 by next week, I'm going to open it, man. By no, February? No, he's not yeah. going to. I want a Charizard. We actually pulled two Charizards. You have had that for such a long pushes. time. We've had this year promise. Since Halloween. Yeah, since Halloween. So it's been what, like a good like four months that we've Actually, had this? Actually, I don't know if we've had this. We had it since the catch all cards, um No, no as a giveaway, but yeah, we've had it giveaway. here. Like we've had it like at home. Yeah. For like almost five months now. Since really? we almost started, yeah. Because we had... bought it with the Blastoise one. Well we opened up the Blastoise one. Yeah, we've had tremendous willpower to not open it. Yeah, to not to open say. it. So it is in Ash's backpack. Okay, that was an easy one. You guys got that one right. Um, is it okay if I just said Pokeballers and not hashtags? No, Luke, because the thing is we're going to use uh, uh, comment chooser. And it's going to be strictly choosing the hashtag Pokeballers. Like, it requires us to put in a hashtag for the phrase. So if you want to go back on that comment, you can just edit the comment and add a hashtag in front of it. Mm -hmm. Luke, because if not, it won't register it on the, on the website that we, we used to pick the winner. Sure that, that you're you fully entered. entered. Yeah, yeah, we just want to make sure that you do enter and you're eligible for, for the giveaway. Be soon, we hope. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um, the thing will be worth $250 by the, the time the giveaway happens. Dude, honestly, it might be. And then I'm going to be really, really sad. Yeah, pretty much. They're going for a few hundred there. Really? In here in the US, it peaked at like 300 or 250 And then it went back down to like 75 Yeah. Ash evolves his hunter at a haunted mansion. True or false? Yay, Luke. Heck yeah, Welcome Luke. The Heck yeah, bro. Let's get it, Luke. That's awesome. How are you going to decide who gets the box? So yeah, I promise. We use a website. Uh, that picks we put in a certain link so we're gonna put the link to that video that comment vi that um, giveaway video and then we choose a specific phrase so the phrase is hashtag Pokeballers and it will process through everybody that has commented hashtag Pokeballers in that video and it will pop up a name so that will be the winner can you play save you want to play Minecraft with me I don't play Minecraft Brad I'm sorry what are the odds of winning it dude I honestly don't know how many people have entered that I mean, look at the number of comments or look at to see how many people. Yeah, you have to see how many people have put hashtag Pokeballers there. And that would be like your odds. I would say you probably have like a one, a one in 40 chance, one in 50 chance. Maybe less or like, I guess maybe higher, like maybe like one in 20, one in 30. But I think right now, from what I remember, I'm one in 40, one in 50 chance, but which also, is still pretty good. Like most, most like big giveaways are like one in a thousand. So yeah, pretty much. And also Luke, I mean, we have weekly card giveaways. Yeah, we do this every week too. Yeah. So you can like tonight, we've already given away this Togekiss. We've already given away the Lugia and now we're giving away the Pikachu as well. So and we the do Raichu. that one. The Raichu, my bad. Yeah, Raichu. Everything goes up in price so fast because we're so far away from stuff it's harder to get. I would imagine since you guys are so close to Japan that you guys will be getting a lot of product from Japan, like relatively easier. So, so how does Kahoot work? The fastest response gets the more points. Yeah, Envel, yeah. uh, the faster you answer, the more points you get. So the base point is either 1,000 or 2,000 for a double points question. If you're the first person to get that right, you'll get the full 1,000. Then the next person will get 990 and so on. At first, when I read his question, I thought that the person to respond to his question would have the more points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. One out of 500? Nah, nah, nah. I wish all 500 people had commented on that, dude. I wish. If we got 500 views a video, we, we wouldn't have only 500 subscribers. Um, Raichu, and the Raichu. Not, yeah, she knows Pokemon better than I do. 100%. What do you have to do for the Raichu? You just have to win this quiz. You win this quiz, you win the Raichu. You can still join Luke. The quiz yeah. is at the bottom right. Yeah, it's not showing up right now. But once this thing is done loading, it'll show it. Right here. All you have to do is go to Kahoot and enter this pin and you can play. This is our final quiz of the night though. I'm about to just send you these uh, cards separately from your package. So that way you can have cards for the game night. Dude, honestly, it will be super appreciated. Because we don't have any freaking cards to give away, man. We're giving away all of our promos right now. Can I do another quiz? So there's no other quiz ready right now, Luke. We only do three every night. Or every Sunday, but if you come over next Sunday, uh, we'll have another three cards ready with another three quizzes ready for you. Yeah, it's every Sunday that we do this. Yep. 
All right, who voices Dawn in the Pokemon anime? Megumi Toyoguchi. Wow, seven people got that right. You guys are killing it, man. I thought this quiz was hard. Ooh, High Noon coming to the top. The Real Ski in second place. Bean Boy wow. in third. Promise in fourth. And N in fifth. Can Promise. you? You can make a quiz, Luke. Yeah, if you want to make a quiz. If you want to make a quiz, you can make a quiz and send it to us. You just wouldn't be allowed to win that quiz. Um, yeah, yeah. So, Luke... Um, Usually, my quizzes tend to be a mix of the cards, the video games, and the anime for Pokemon. Mostly the cards and the games. So if you know the Pokemon cards and you know the Pokemon video games, you should be set up for the my quizzes. Uh, I got about six of them. I'm sending you your way. Oh, thank you so much, Captain. That's two full weeks of, of quizzes, man. So that's super Wait, appreciated, he made, man. He made them? He's, no, he has a, uh, cards, like, like these type of cards to send us so we can give away. Oh. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. That's awesome, Captain. Thank you, man. We really do appreciate it, bro. Thanks, Captain. I mean, we literally do not have any... We've given so much. Yeah, we've given away, like, hundreds of cards we've at this We've only point. kept, like, four that we really want to, to get keep, them graded. Yeah, yeah. You know, but we've given them all Literally, out. almost every single pack pool we've ever had, we've given out. Um, Who created My Hero Academia? It is Koei Hirokoshi. Wait, promise not yet, Michael says. Michael's doing well. He's in like fourth place. Yeah, Michael's doing well, man. Michael's doing good. Let's see. Ooh, Michael's moving to second place right now. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Oof, 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 oof. I was going to replace Dodler with Execute because of the better typing, but I can't access it till I get to the water bike. Why? What area is it? Is it in the Lake of Outrage, Chio? Uh, I don't know the anime and games, but I know the cards. Then you will, you will do relatively well. You will do relatively well, Luke. And if you know Poketubers, like card Poketubers, you'll do well too. We usually put questions of Poketubers too. Okay, promise. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you later. Um, if not, 99 yeah, promise. Yeah, if not, good night, promise. Happy birthday to your dad again. You, I would rather play Super Smash Bros. Yeah, we, we do Smash Bros on Thursday. We did it one time. But on Thursday streams, if you guys want, we can set up another like mini Smash Bros tournament type of thing. And we're going like, to run that for our Thursday stream. What is the first name of Bakugo's mom? Let's see if Michael can get all of these right. <laughs> wow, nine people got it right. Wow, Let's I thought it was what? a hard question. Let's see what Michael got it. Yeah, he Michael got it. got it. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm swimming for a smash tourney? Alright, so, if you guys... Because I don't want this to happen again, okay? Because three weeks ago, we did. everybody said that they were done for a smash tournament. And then I streamed Thursday, um, saying that we are going to do a smash tournament. And only four people showed up, Okay. So, if you guys are fully down for a Smash Tournament, this Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., I can run a Smash Tournament. Like, let me know who is down to play, I'll set up a bracket, and we can run an actual Smash Tournament. You work, uh, Lane? Uh, until what time do you work? Um, until what time Eastern Time do you work? Because what we might do is, um, we might start the stream as like a Pokemon stream at 8 and then from 9 to 10 30 we'll run the the actual tournament that way it gives like people like an hour to like come in and, and hang out josh i see i wish i had the game well josh get it dude maybe you can find like uh find an offer for cheap it's an older game like it's been out for like two or three years now mark i'm not mark josh uh so you can probably find it for like like 20 bucks 30 bucks i know a friend of mine found pokemon sword for 25 dollars like in almost brand new condition so I'll be there. Okay, okay. So right now we have three people that are uh, four people down. We got Michael, we got Brad, we got Mark, and we got uh, Josh G. I'm gonna differentiate you guys by calling you Josh G and Josh M. <laughs> okay. You gotta have to wait till the first one I'm paid. Okay, Josh. If you end up getting uh, Josh M, if you end up getting it, let us know and we'll run Smash Bros tournaments with you in it too, bro. That's again if you end up getting it. No pressure to get it, bro. Like, I know that money is hard to come by. Trust me, we feel that. What is uh, Mashiro Ojiro's quirk? Let's see if Michael gets this one right. Because I'm good at knowing, like, what the character looks like to what their quirk is, but not their name. Like, their name is, like, harder for me to, like, tie it in. Okay, so nine people got it right. Wow, a lot of people are getting these questions right. My heroes uh, seems to be popular amongst the peeps. So far, it's been easy, but Michael, High Noon is beating you, so I guess... Yeah, Michael, it's not, not that, that easy, easy, Michael. Yeah. All right, all right. What is the name of All Might's predecessor? This one's going to be easy, especially if you guys watch the latest seasons. I didn't watch the latest season, so I don't really know. I was about getting my DLC for Sword. Ooh, so then Josh, you can run some um, raid adventures with us. 
Because if we don't end up doing Smash tournaments, that's what normally that's probably what we'll end up doing. Some uh, max rate adventures on Honeycomb Island in Isle of Armor. Okay, so so you need the the water bike to get to Honeycomb Island. Okay, okay. Brad, I do not play Minecraft. Brad, I don't think too many people play Minecraft, Brad. I feel there, Josh. I just dropped over um, 1300 to repair my car. Bro, that's big money, man. That's big money. Who said that? <laughs> Can everybody else tell Brad if whether they play on Minecraft or not? Brad, I think only one person uh, said that I play Minecraft. I think it was only um, Josh, was it? That said he played Minecraft. Oh, no. Was it? No, it wasn't Josh then. It was Lane. Was it Lane? Oh, poor captain with his car. Yeah, bro, that's rough, man. That's rough. Wow. Ooh, Michael moving up to the top, and then Porg in second. And it's Ooh. on fire. Yeah, it's on fire with a that's a streak of seven, seven in a row. Wow, I thought here that people weren't gonna get like more than ten, right? That's crazy. All right, double points. The My Hero Academia manga released in 2012. True or false? When did the My Hero Academia manga release, guys? I have manga on PC, but I don't get it very. I don't get on it very often. See, I've never been too um, too big on Minecraft. When do you get the water bike? I believe it's very late in game. It is very late in game, Chio. You get the water bike either after the 5th, 6th, or 7th batch. I think it's after the 6th batch. 6th hmm. or 7th batch. Chio. Um, I have Minecraft on PC, but I'm gonna be very sorry. I don't play Minecraft either. I don't have my Switch on hand either because of school. I feel that, Victor. I, I haven't played Xbox at all because of school. I left my headphones at, at my parents' house. It's been the best. Yeah, as like I got determined so that I can play FIFA or Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing. Oof, Michael got it right. Ooh, that was a killer, though. But is he going to get the other anime right? I mean, does he know the other anime? I mean, he says that he knows Attack on Titan fairly well. So, let's see. He says that he knows like all the animes that I'm doing tonight fairly well. Even the Demon Slayer? Demon Slayer is one of my favorite animes, honestly. I think Demon Slayer is really cool. Can you put Michael over promise when you do Instagram, Nat? Can okay. you put Michael over like he, promise? Like, put like Michael to like hide out the promise, oh. I guess. Like Michael's name. Okay. Very well. I read the manga too. Wow, so he knows them. Okay, okay, okay. So he knows them all. My internet is dying on me, GG. No, N. No, You can N. do it, N. You a streak, bro. Keep it up, bro. You got this. I believe in you. Yeah, I need to follow my team with uh, two late game months on out of armor. No, oh, well. You'll get it. You'll get it, Chill. Even, even if you don't get them, I'm pretty sure you're resourceful enough. You're smart enough to find, like, other uh, Pokemon to cover it up. So you can Hi, definitely ASX. get it. Yo, yeah. what's good, ASX? How's your night going, bro, bro? Hey, Naruto Gaming, believe it! Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so there are nine Hereditary Titans. Nine Hereditary Titans. And now the rest of the, the Attack on Titan section is going to contain spoilers. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled, um, look away. Okay. Oh, okay. no. Which of these is not one of the Titans' names? Michael's gonna get this one right. Oh my gosh. Dude, I, I guess I have to make him extra hard for Michael, dude. I guess so. Like, these, like, the average Attack on Titan fan would get, like, two of these uh, right and one and three of these wrong. Like, the first two, uh, most Attack on Titan fans will get them right. The next uh, three, up, unless you're, like, fully caught up with the manga, mm -hmm. you wouldn't really get the next three right. Wow. So, Michael, do you watch them, like, with English subtitles, or do you understand it? Because he speaks Japanese. Is he fluent, though? Like, are you fully fluent in Japanese? I mean, he had a tutor, so can, I wonder. Can you have a, a conversation with um, Promise? Oh, with, uh, with Chio. My Promise. bad. Oh, my God. I, I was looking at the chat. My bad, Chio. I'm Promise. I was looking at the chat, and I Promise name, like, pop up. He uh, says, no, that he, had, he needs the subtitles still. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure like he recognizes a lot, like a lot of words on it. Like maybe just like form certain structure, it helps him better to have the subtitles. Yeah. Um, does anyone have a spare rusted sword for Sashin? I actually need one of those too, Josh. I traded my my Samazenta. No, wasn't my I traded? Yeah, I traded my Samazenta in Pokemon Home for a Sashin, but it doesn't come with a rusted sword. Can you do my Hero Academia question? Naruto Gaming, you missed it, dude. The the questions five through question ten were all my Hero Academia, Naruto. I did it literally for you because I knew I knew you wanted uh, my Hero Academia questions, so I made questions five through question ten all my Hero Academia, and you missed them. Hi, Owen. What's good, Owen? How's your night going, Yo. bro? And he, Michael says he knows about twelve hundred words in Japanese. But it's nowhere near enough. I mean, you can practice, Michael. You can practice. You can uh, hang out on the streams and practice with Chio. 
Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, Chio was like teaching me a little bit of Japanese here and there. Speaking of Chio, she just uh, messaged yeah. now. Yeah, as much as I like Orbito, Executor is much better um, typing wise for the Pokemon League and post game. Yeah, it is. It is. I agree. I want us to reach 480. We reached 30 likes. We just need one more sub. One more sub. One, one more, more sub, sub, guys. To get this. Guys, go into your secondary account and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. How's your night going, Owen? How's your night going, bro? We have a football team one. Who's your football team? Kansas City? No, bro. Isn't that the Bucks? Didn't he has the Atlanta one? Falcons in there. He has the Falcons in there. Is that the Falcons logo? I'm pretty sure it's the Falcons logo. Not the Falcons. Falcons Chiefs. Chiefs. Okay, so, okay, so the Chiefs. See, it is the Falcons logo. I knew mm, it. Okay. But yeah, so Chiefs won. I didn't know that, dude. I wanted to, to watch the highlights after. But I knew they were playing while we were streaming. Uh, so Chiefs won. So we got freaking... Oh my god, fuck. We reached it. <laughs> I, I solved in my two account. Oh, thank you, Poker Card Collector, dude. Thank you. That is so sweet, Justin. We reached for it. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you, Justin, dude. I appreciate it, bro. That's um, awesome, bro. So we did it. We made our goal. Crazy. 30 likes that's and crazy. 480 subs. We need All 20 right. more. 20 subs in one week, guys. 20 subs in one week. Can we do it to give away this beautiful box? Um, also, it's pretty crazy. So we've got Tom Brady in the box versus Mahomes in the Chiefs in the Super Bowls in the Super Bowl. And it's in Tampa, so it's a home Super Bowl for it the... It was rigged. Bro, I'm going to... We're going to Tampa. What do you mean we're going to Tampa? We're going to Tampa to watch the Super Bowl. We are not going... Okay. We're watching the Super Bowl in Tampa. You, you no, we're not going to go to the stadium. Oh. But we're, we'll like, watch it at a bar in Tampa. Bar? We're in a pandemic, Juan. There's no bar Like a pandemic. sports bar, like a TJ Friday type of thing. No, we're going to be out... No, if anything, we have to be outside, somewhere, away from people. Away from people. We'll watch it by the beach in Tampa. Wait, so are we going to go to Tampa for real? I'm down. We're going to hit up like these people, um, the college buddies. No, not all these people. We're going to hit up Remember, the college buddies. Remember, I would need my face shield. I can't have... Okay, we'll go with a face shield, You're woman. You're going to wear the face shield. He, he has something against wearing a face shield. Yeah, I don't want to look like a welder when I'm walking around everywhere. That's safe. Uh, <laughs> The Bills need Jesus. <laughs> How many manga chapters are there in Attack on Titan? How many manga chap uh, chapters are there, guys? I'm low-key um, hoping that Kansas City wins, dude. Just to play devil's advocate and just because I love Patrick Mahomes. Go 76ers. Nah, nah, nah. Go Heat, bro. Go Heat, man. Even though the Heat have been struggling this season, bro. Okay, okay, okay. So, my basketball peeps out there. What do you guys think of James Harden going to the Nets? I think it's the worst thing that could have happened to the Nets. I think James Harden being in the Nets is horrendously bad for them because they were already a bad defensive team and they gave away Jared Allen, which was like their best defender by far. So now they're stuck with DeAndre Jordan, which doesn't really do much. And they have Harden that doesn't like to run. And they have Durant and Kyrie Irving that are not really known for the defensive um, the defensive capabilities. Poker Card Collector loves this song. This song's name is... It is Masi Mas. I didn't know. It's a Spanish song. I, I know it sounded in Spanish. But I know it's a Spanish song. Okay, I'll take a picture of it to keep it. <laughs> yeah, Masi Mas, on and on. Okay. It do, does it translate? It wouldn't really translate to on and on, though. Isn't it more and more? Yeah, it would translate to more and more. It would translate to more and more, like in English. Like, I guess maybe the, the song is translated from English to Spanish. Hmm. And it was like, a, like the original is on and on. And the translation trans, uh, would go to Masi Mas. N. Go Chiefs, oh go my Chiefs. Gosh, <laughs> Michael, what happened to Oh, you, Michael bro? has been dethroned. Wait, this is wrong. No, it's 122, Michael. Literally looked it up. 122. There's 30 volumes. Each volume has four chapters, except for volume two and volume four that have four, six chapters each. Michael's or uh, five chapters each. So, yeah. Yep. It's copyright free too. Heck yeah, dude. That's why I have the copyright free live stream right now, bro. I feel like, do you guys like the music? I feel like the music has like a nice touch. I feel like the music has like a nice touch to, to the stream rather than just the cohue music or sitting in silence. Alright guys, last anime of the night, Demon Slayer. How many Demon Slayer core pillars are there? I made my own dress this weekend. It's a long dress with zero suit si uh, Samus and Princess Peach on it with pink beige colors and scheme and a uh, big bow on the back. Chio, send it to us on email. I'm still waiting for you to send us a picture of your kimono. Yeah. We would love to see it, Chio. You want to send it to us on, on um, email. Pokeball is 215 at Gmail. Enva wants Dragon Ball Z questions. Dragon Ball Z. All right, so next week, uh, guys, give me options for animes for next week. I was thinking next week we're going to do Dragon Ball. I don't know too much about Bleach, but I can do some research on Bleach. Pokemon always has to be in there. 
So we got Pokemon, Bleach, Dragon Ball Z, and give me one other anime. I was thinking of Sword Art Online. I don't know if too many people have seen Sword Art Online though. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it is, dude. It's like it's vibe. It, it's like a vibe. It's like relaxing. Hunter x Hunter. Ooh. Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter is a big one, bro. Yesterday I actually watched a one hour video of a hundred facts of Hunter Hunter. So. Hunter Hunter is a big one, bro. We're gonna actually do a really, really good one on Hunter Hunter. Okay, okay, so Hunter Hunter. All right, yeah. all right. I'm thinking that you guys like these quizzes, right? It's, it's like a good change. Daily Pokemon opening says that uh, he was supposed to go to Japan, but he's getting married instead. <laughs> Why not both? Because it's super expensive to get married, Juan. Why not get married in Japan? Because they have family. No one is going to like fly over there. Why not both? Okay, my mom said no. Okay, Chio, never mind. Never mind. If your mom says no, then never mind. It's okay. I bet it looks amazing regardless. Yes. Awesome stream tonight, y'all. Thank you so much, Sarah and Andy. I appreciate it. I think they're going to sleep. So have a good night, guys. Nighty night, Sarah. Appreciate you guys. Seven Daily Sins. Oh, we're going to do Seven Daily Sins as well. Make basketball questions. See, the thing is that I don't know It's too many people here watch sports, um, Envel. <laughs> I, I think anime is like more more related to Pokemon than, than sports. Like, I would love to do, like, a like a sports, like, like, on a different channel, do, like, a sports podcast or something like that. Because I don't know too, too much about football or basketball. Like, I know enough. Like, I have, fa I play fantasy in both. Like, I know enough about both. Uh, no, like, because in fantasy, you need to know a lot to, like, be good at fantasy. You can't just throw players together. Yeah, no, you are very good. I was laughing at Promise. Oh, yeah, Promise Mike. said, Michael, I will make Juan and I ban you if you lose. Ooh, maybe, maybe. That's one way to encourage me. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, do you like dump trucks? Okay. Captain doesn't watch sports. Michael doesn't watch sports either. A lot of guys don't. <laughs> yeah, see, so they don't. Uh, so there's not really too much of a of a sports um, demand. Um, and we're but, almost there, Sarah. No, oh, no, no. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're on the last anime. We're on the last anime. This is the uh, the final anime. IIRC, you're from WPB, I'm from MIA. So what's Palm Beach? Yeah, what's Palm Beach, yeah. What's a, what's IIRC? Um uh, I don't I've seen it. I saw it today actually. Wait, so he's from MIA? You're, so he's from, from Miami. Miami. Oh yeah. my gosh, what a yeah. small world. we we are origin story from Miami, but we live in Central FL. So we're bang down the middle. Are you a big football fan? Are you a big guess, football what fan? What team do you like? So I wouldn't consider myself a huge football fan. Like I will watch it most weekends, especially if like my my draft players are playing. I would consider myself a Dolphins fan. I I like the Dolphins, um, but I'm more of one of those people that like chooses players over teams. Like if the Dolphins are doing well, I'm really happy for the Dolphins and I want the Dolphins to win every game they can. But I really like Patrick Mahomes and I like Lamar Jackson. I wouldn't consider myself a Chiefs fan. I wouldn't consider myself a Ravens fan. I would consider myself a Dolphins fan. But I really, really do vibe with Mahomes and um, Lamar Jackson. Um, I know more basketball than I do American football. And my sport is mainly soccer. Like, I would say the way I know sports is mainly soccer, then tennis, then basketball, then American football. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm too, too... Maybe Formula One. I, I watched Formula One here and there. Oh, Mark likes uh, Chelsea FC. Chelsea? Okay, Chelsea's good. I was expecting Chelsea to be better, bro. I was expecting Chelsea to be better this year, 100%. Like, Chelsea spent a ridiculous amount of money on players that were insane in the German League. And Ziyech from the Ajax. And... I don't know, man. It's, it's been a letdown so far for Chelsea, dude. Man, and Man City's been a letdown, too. What's up? And is going to win. Oof, two questions Michael left and Anne is killing it. Wow, Michael. Please stop trying. <laughs> How many breathing styles are there? Well, look, someone literally answered like right instantly. away, bro. Instantly. My gosh. Instantly. I've not watched football since our model and I have not watched basketball since the colonial of Michael Jordan days. Wow, Captain, you haven't watched basketball in a while. I wasn't even watching basketball at that time. I wasn't even watching basketball at that time. Um, I am a certified priestess. I could perform your wedding ceremony. Really? Wow, that's super cool. Imagine Ch Chiyo says she's a certified priestess in Japan. Oh, so wow. So she could perform their wedding ceremony. That's so cute. Dude, see, 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 we, 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 we're hooking it up right now. We, I got you. I got you, Poker Card Collector. See, now, Chiyo, now you know Chiyo. Chiyo can do your wedding ceremony. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Oh, Eden wow. Hazard is my favorite player, but not a from Madrid. 
Dude, dude, okay, okay, but Mark, okay, being completely uh, unbiased, right? Being completely unbiased, you cannot tell me that Eden Hazard has been good for Madrid. Like, he's had a severe drop in quality since his time at Chelsea into Madrid. <gasps> oh, and... Oh, oh, and... Oh, my God, that was crazy. Oh, and... Tell me Terry Kill and Sammy Watkins. Yeah, Terry Kill and Sammy Watkins are really good. They're really good. Wow, Naruto Gaming is going to eat some ramen. That All right, sounds that ramen so sounds so freaking good. good right now. I want to go to Naruto. We need to yeah, go to Naruto soon. Same. All right, I'm out of here. Have a good night. Hi, right, Owen. Have a blessed night, brother. Thank you so much for stopping night by night, and Owen. saying hi, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm a huge Valencia fan. That is my favorite team. That's because the two years that I lived in Valencia when I was living in Spain, um, Valencia ended up winning back-to-back -back Europa Leagues, back-to-back -back La Ligas. And the year before we won the Europa Leagues, we made it to a Champions League Finals. Actually, we, it was four years in a row. First year, made it to Champions League Finals, lost to Bayern Munich and PKs, then won two back-to-back -back Europa Leagues and La Ligas during that time. And then we made it to a Champions League Finals and lost 4-0 to Madrid in that Champions League Finals. Wow. So, but yeah, we were like pretty much the best team in Spain during that time. So I fell in love with Valencia and I was like four or five years old. Captain wants more steak and Sarah says, okay, now it's an awesome stream. <laughs> okay, I'm so anxious. I want to know who won. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, we're not, no we're not. I want to know. It's what I feel like, right? True. I would have given it to him anyway. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? I want more steak. Yeah, I want more steak too. I want food. I'm starving now. I've been a princess in training for three years. Wow, that's super Third freaking place, cool. Third place, high wow. noon. Second place. And oh! Oh! Oh, oh Michael got the win. Michael got the win, guys. <laughs> Michael got the win. <laughs> Congrats, Michelle. <laughs> build the, su the suspense. Yeah, we have to build the suspense. Wow, that is funny. That's, yeah. like, crazy. Mark says that he's been to Barcelona. It's a really cool city. Yeah, Barcelona is beautiful. Honestly, Mark, I would recommend you going, like, big cities in Spain, if you can. Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia, Bilbao is a really, really beautiful city. Seville, Sevilla, and Mallorca. But that's where I grew up most of my life, Mallorca. And it's literally a paradise in the Balearic Islands. Titan, you did an amazing job. Fourth place on this kind Yeah, you of did quiz. good, bro. You this did good. The ultimate did, quiz. You did okay, amazing. okay. Honest question. How hard do you guys think this quiz was in comparison to our well, other quizzes? We're going to see the average now. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Does N have a an Instagram? N? Yeah. N, do you have an Instagram? Oh, 38%. So it got uh, more percentage than yours did. So yours was still the hardest. Yeah, mine was yeah. the hardest. Yeah. And do you have us on Instagram, man? I have to uh, I have to go, but thanks, Michael. Okay, so Promise gets the right shoe then. Michael, I'm guessing Promise gets the right shoe. And who's High Noon? Yeah, who's High Noon? I watch those animes, but DBZ will be my easiest one. I have um I do have an IG. Do you have us on IG, Envel? Do you follow us on IG? Can somebody put exclamation mark Instagram in the chat? Exclamation mark in the chat for you guys. Um, So you guys can follow us on Instagram. Thanks for the game night, guys. Had a great time. No, thank you so much for coming in, Titan, dude. We really do appreciate it, man. <laughs> and uh, High Noon. Who, who is High Noon? We need you on Insta. We need you on Insta. Um, Chio says, eventually I will pursue a career in dance. But until I graduate next year, I will be a priestess. Oh, that's super freaking cool. That that's crazy that you get like training like so early on, like in your life. Like you're not even an adult and you're already like about to become a priestess. That's pretty yeah, crazy. That is pretty crazy. And good night, everybody who is leaving. 99. Yeah, good night, guys. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys hanging out here. Yeah. Um, but high noon. We don't know who high noon is. Um, just follow us on Instagram, guys. Follow us on Instagram. The link is in the chat right now. The Pokeball is about just send it in. Make sure to um, follow us on Instagram. Oh, Blobrex, he followed us. Blobrex? Heck yeah, Blobrex. He made uh, an IG. That's awesome, Blobrex. Yeah, that's so cute. Uh, Josh, yeah, e uh, email us again just as a reminder that you did win, um, Josh. Uh, but yeah, everybody has won. We already have uh, uh, Beano's address. We already have Promise's address. And then, Josh, if you can send us an email just as a reminder so we have it on the email box, that would be freaking awesome. Um, and again, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope that you guys enjoyed the quizzes. Uh, and yeah, we, we love you guys. We'll see you guys next week. With that said, Pokeballers out. Peace.